Natasha Makena Monine was born on 15th May 2012 at PCEA Chogoria Hospital. She was the second born to Honorable Patrick Munene Ntwiga, the MP of Chukai Gambangombe constituency, and Joy Gakenya of Ministry of Health, National Malaria Program. She was a beloved sister to Keith Rogers Murimi and Christian Kelvin Mwiti. Christian life, she was baptized on 17th June 2012 by Reverend Harrison Thuku, Kogu at PCA Kibogwa Church. Natasha was very active, was a very active Sunday school member who never failed to attend the service. She had a great faith in God's power as evidenced by how much she prayed during her sickness, which often lifted spirits of people who called her to check on her progress. She kept the faith so strongly. Family life. The late Natasha was a doting granddaughter to the late Mr. Joseph Ntwiga and Mrs. Enid Kari and Reverend Festus Murangiri and Mrs. Christine Murangiri. She was a loving niece to Maxwell Mwenda, Florida Kende, Johnson Kenyua, Junior Mugendi, Stella Gataka, Rita Murugi, Sylvia Kawera, Nancy Gasheri, Doreen Kagendo, late Stephen Alex Mushiri, and Sophia Kangai. She was a cousin to Tracy, Wendy, Brian, Alvan, Karendi, Victor, Dennis, Bramwell, Elvis, Ryan, Renfred, Brandon, Riley, Bryson, Yvonne, Gasheri, Nkada, Mutrigi, Prince, Angel, Tifa, Mikel, and Zuena. In a very special way, Natasha had a very dear sister, Christine Kangai, who became a part of her life since birth to date. By extension, we appreciate Joy Gaki for being a great caregiver to Natasha. Education. Natasha first went to school in January 2015 at Orion Academy in Embu County. She later transferred to Sukari Presbyterian Academy in Nairobi when her parents moved and settled there. Natasha was in grade 4 North by the time of her demise. Teacher Dudi was her favorite teacher. Social life. Natasha was a very generous girl. She loved to share with others and especially the needy children. In particular, she had a special place in her heart for orphans, whom oftentimes she celebrated her birthday cakes with. Natasha was a peacemaker, often the voice of reason whenever her cousins differed over one thing or the other. She cared about everyone's happiness a lot. Our smiling Natasha warmed the hearts of people she interacted with. She loved her siblings, Keith and Christian, beyond measure. In equal measure, she was loved dearly by all who closely knew her. Hobbies. Natasha loved swimming, dancing, and drawing colored her world too. She loved singing, especially gospel songs. She loved writing about her life. Many are the times you will find her writing about her day's activity in her diary. Natasha and Beauty were inseparable. Young as she was, she minded so much how she looked before stepping out of her bedroom. A little lipstick here, lip balm there, beautiful hairstyles were Natasha's life. She was neat and organized, in fact, very neat. Many adults would get a challenge about this from baby Natasha. Her favorite color was pink, the many shades of pink. At no time did color pink miss out around Natasha. From bedroom walls, school bags, handkerchiefs, dresses, trousers, hair beads, name them all. Pink it had to be. And anyone who knew her knew she adored her dad. Daddy's princess was Makena. Sickness. Baby Natasha enjoyed good health. Maybe the occasional cough here or fever there, but nothing so worrying to be scared about. However, in June 2022, she fell sick and was the first time in her life admitted to Nairobi Hospital. Upon medical examination, she was diagnosed with acute leukemia and it was advised that she needed specialized treatment outside Kenya. So in mid-June 2022, she was flown out to India accompanied by her parents and grandmother where she was immediately put on treatment for leukemia. Natasha bore the treatment so courageously. 
All through her stay in India, she gave words of encouragement to those who reached out to her. In the month of September, Natasha successfully underwent a bone marrow transplant donated by her brother Keith. From there, her condition improved significantly, which gave great hope of coming back home whole. However, on 31st October, while still going steady in her treatment, Natasha took ill. She got readmitted to hospital. Three days later, her condition got critical, occasioning readmission to ICU for intensive care. On the morning of 5th November, 1.47 a.m. 2022, she was promoted to glory. Fare thee well, Angel Natasha. We loved you. We miss you dearly, but respect God's will. May your soul rest in peace, Makena. Your memories will forever stay close to our hearts. Revelations 21, verse 4. He will wipe every tear from your eyes. There will be no more death or pain, for the old things may have disappeared. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's the story of our daughter that has gone to be with the Lord, uh, Natasha McKenna, and we thank God for the time that God gave her to be with us. These are students or pupils, let me call them pupils, from Sukari Presbyterian Academy, where Natasha was a student. They will make a presentation as part of their tribute, and after that presentation, uh, one of them, Catherine Nyakeo from grade four, uh, will make their tribute on their behalf. Uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, and other distinguished guests, because of uh, maybe time, uh, I can say all protocols observed. We are Sukari Presbyterian Academy, where um, we have come uh, eight teachers and around 40 children uh, to mourn with her. We are going to sing a song, and this girl, where is she? A girl here will do a, a tribute, so we are going to sing the song, and the song is coming from uh, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, uh, but we are going to sing it in Kiswahili, Bonani Michugaji Wangu, originally written by Ruben Kigame. Karibuni sana, and then later the girl will do the tribute. Karibuni.
Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Catherine Akeo and I will be reading a tribute on behalf of Natasha's friends and classmates. A tribute to Natasha McKenna. It is a sad time, a very sad moment. Our dear friend Tasha is no longer with us. Our eyes are tearful as we stare at her seat. Now, it is an empty space which no one can fill. To the society, Natasha was a single soul, but she was all we had as friends. We walked the journey with you throughout your sickness and treatment. Your friend, Justice Bahati, always asked about your progress while in India. We prayed and hoped that you would be well. It is heartbreaking that there will be no more play, no more laughter, and no more classes together. The thought of walking the rest of the journey without you is devastating. McKenna was a honest girl, never backstabbed, blackmailed, or did ungodly things. So all of us who loved her, we shall keep these memories dear in our hearts. Let us celebrate her and accept the painful reality. We loved you to bits, but God loved you more. Fare thee well, Natasha. We shall meet again. I don't think we are appreciating those children the way we ought to. They have come all the way from Nairobi to bid farewell to their colleague, and therefore we need to appreciate that gesture of love. Now, I want the following people to come and be here with me because Brian Bundy uh, will read a tribute on behalf of cousins. Then I also want to request Christine Morangeri, uh, who is the maternal grandmother, to also come. I also want to request Nancy Gasheri to be here so that she can speak on behalf of aunties. And finally, I want Janet McKenna here. Nyote kujeni tafadhali na waomba kwa heshima na kunyenyekea. Mko wapi? Brian, you should be here, followed by the other names that I have read. Janet McKenna, you will read from the paternal grandmother uh, Kari Ndiga Utamsomea Ukaadhomera Juju Wawe Kari Ndiga So Janet Pia Ukwe Hapa So uh, Brian Bundi On behalf of Cousins Please Hello everyone I am reading this tribute to our sister on behalf of our cousins. Dear Tasha, we are deeply sorry and saddened that we had to lose you, our beautiful and joyful cousin. Your radiant smile was infectious and always stayed close to our hearts. Your wonderful soul touched many and not enough words can describe what we as your cousins feel about you, losing you. It's just not fair that we had to part ways so soon. But in our sorrow, we still appreciate that we even had the chance to share remarkable and memorable moments together. Your kind and selfless words, deeds, and love will forever live on, treasured fondly in our hearts. Goodbyes are not forever. Fare thee wells are not the end. They, they simply mean we'll miss you. Until we meet again, rest well, our small sister Tasha. Thank you very much. Eh, ni naomba mtu mmoja saidie mama ya Patrick aje hapa hata kama atasomewa. Tungependa aje asimame hapa pia tumuone na tumtambue. Juju wa Natasha Kinyawe Aretoe. Karibu Christine. Aya ni malatu na mo. Atongo liya metu, atongo liya makanitha, na antumana maukite kulira natwi, buwana yesu asifiwe. Jesu akumwe, mbuge mbita kwa Christine, kwa mulangili, na mwadha ni mwono kuwa mwawakwa, ninke neletenga hii, ona mabindani mama, ntenge shiria ate nonti wene jojo, shosho no onge au kakondika. Lakini nonto nwenga hii ya mebangi yawe, madhabu manga hii matekalita manto, au gagantu kwe mwe neta angili, na angili neta antu kwe mwe. Na lena adhomi legia madhabu, 
kwende to ava mi ya madhabu mambeses you count 1 2 if you are using base 3 you say 1 2 when you get to 3 you write 1 0 that is base 3 so 10 years might be 100 years in god's eyes one as few one as few so i'm here to read a tribute as a grandmother of tasha who accompanied her to India and stayed with her for two months. So since I've written, let me read what I've written. Tasha, my elder sister, I loved you so much in this life. I still love you in death. Your sincere response to greetings from all of us was amazing. It's sad you slipped away from us, but I thank God that I had a chance to interact with you and acknowledge the love you had for God and the family members. When I fell sick while in India, you advised me to keep away from the phone because calls from home were affecting my health. You acted like a real elder sister. Here I want to say why I'm calling her elder sister. She kept on asking the mother to bring forth, because she's the only daughter in the family, to bring forth a younger sister who will be called Natalia Christine. So I embraced and said I am the younger sister. When we prayed, your amen was appealing. It was not a simple amen. It's not an ordinary amen. It is amen. Amen, God, hear us. Amen, receive our prayers. Amen, heal us. That was Natasha. In the morning, waking up, morning shows, morning shows. I love you. I love you. I love you too. And when she was greeted from home, she would always respond with a lot of uh, uh, affection. Love you, shows. Love you too, shows. Be blessed, shows. Be blessed too, shows. Miss you, shows. This is when I came home. Miss you, shows. Miss you too, shows. Those were the, the greetings and whatever we talked. And most appealing, when she had done the transplant, shows, I'm coming home soon. And I felt, when I felt, when I heard that she has gone, I wondered what the home was this. Coming home soon, and many other responses, will always remain in my memories. Rest is a, my sister, will join you when God calls us home. God loved you more, so you are not going to suffer anymore. You will not see the sun. Fare thee well, shows me God bless all of us. Thank you. Praise God. Uh, my name is Janet McKenna, and I'll read tribute for my mom, um, the paternal grandmother. I never thought nor expected that it would come to a time I would bury my generation. Since the day you were born and named after me, I chose the name McKenna for you, meaning happiness, and for sure, just like me, happiness has never left me. You are a true happiness. The news of your sickness has been the most traumatizing thing in my life. Since we went to India, I have never had a good day. I once told my children, I wish Tasha and a new shoe with an organ that I can donate, for I have done most of my work unlike her. I had several prayers for you, Shosho, including attending Kesha. 
At the end, the will of God came to pass. We can never question God. You never went alone. My eldest name is so painful and hurting. I loved you and I'll miss you, your smile. May good Lord comfort you, son, Patrick, and daughter, Kakeni. All protocol observed, the clergy. My name is uh, Nancy Gasheri. I'm Tasha's auntie. And now that I've been given this opportunity, I can rightfully say maybe her favorite aunt. It is on behalf of the aunties. It is with utmost sadness that we gather today to bid you farewell at such a tender age, Tasha. Since your birth, we have known you as a healthy, bubbly, and happy baby girl. Nothing would have prepared us for your sudden sickness, and we remained hopeful that just like any other minor sickness you had before, this one too would go away. When we bid you farewell or goodbye to India, we never imagined that our receiving you back home would be as painful as it was on Monday 7th, November 2022. While in India, we all kept in touch with you and our children kept in touch with you too. The lengthy video chats, video calls, uh, voice calls, that everything was fine which actually was your words, me too, love you. prayer chain going, but God in his mystery saw it fit to heal you this way. Reason we gather here, Tasha. It hurts, it really hurts, Tasha, Nevertheless, we are comforted in knowing that you're no longer in pain, and most of all, that you're in heaven with God Almighty. Heaven has gained another angel, and this is for sure. We say fare thee well, our beloved daughter, with the hope of meeting again someday. We we'll forever treasure our memories, baby girl. We love you, and forever we will shine on your way, Tasha, our beautiful princess. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Auntie, for that uh, tribute. I want to invite SEK Membley Sunday School. That is where, please get upstanding and come to the front. Membley SEK, um, they are here. That is where. Our daughter used to attend Sunday school, and uh, they have a tribute to make. So you can see Natasha was a distinguished Sunday school member, and uh, it's also a good lesson to learn. And uh, I want to request Uncle Maxi Jr. Johnny to be here, and Junior Mugendi as well, and Auntie Kiende. Please come and stand here with me. On behalf of Membley Park Sunday School, I'm Hope. I'm James Wanjama. I'm David. And we have a tribute for dear friend Natasha. There is a special angel in heaven today by the name Natasha. Yes, it is not where we wanted you to be at the moment but where God wanted you to be. Tasha, you are a beautiful soul, so loyal and kind. Your passion for serving God in Sunday school will remain unmatched. It's hard for us to say goodbye, but one thing we know, you are in a better place in heaven. But one day, we shall meet on the beautiful show. Rest in peace, dear Natasha. 
in the sweet by and by we shall meet on the beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on the beautiful shore thank you I have a tribute from the Sunday School Department. Natasha, you lived a life that pointed us to heaven. You were the kind of a Christian child that every parent strives to have. You loved your church and Sunday School teachers wholeheartedly. Your kindness, love, and beautiful smile touch each one of us at ACK Membley Park. We are yet to find a child who can replace your presence. You have left us with bittersweet memories. Tasha, you are in a better place in heaven where it is our desired destination. Some journey are quick and some journey are slow. We shall one day join you up there. As we say goodbye for now, we vow to honor you by loving and serving God with all our hearts. Go well, dear Tasha. We will miss your smile. One day we shall be there to share eternity. Shalom, shalom. Praise the Lord. Uh, the leader of the service, our deputy president, and all the leaders of the country uh, and the leaders of the church, all protocols observed as we have paid the tribute to our daughter Natasha as SCK Mebre uh, Parish and Mebre Park Church in the Diocese. We have uh, sp spent good time with Natasha as we instill uh, the spiritual discipline unto her. We will dearly continue missing her and the laughter and the joy that she used to bring to our children. To the family, we bring our condolences from the entire Mebre Park Church and particularly from the Sunday School Department. May God continue to console you and may his divine peace be your portion. Be blessed. The Deputy President, the clergy, all protocols observed. Uh, I'm leading tribute on behalf of uncles of Tasha. I'm leading tribute on behalf of Uncle Maxi. Maxi, you can wave. And our young brother, uh, Junior. Junior, you can wave. I will lead dear Tasha. Our daughter, you always called us uncle. You have gone forever. Your warm smiles, your face when you stood before us has been just replaced with a lone picture and just beautiful memories. Gone too soon, a fine young, brilliant, and a full of, full of love young girl. We cannot believe this is real, that you will no longer walk on this earth, our mom. We love you so much, Mom. We loved you from the time you were born. We watched you glow and learn our daughter. We shall meet again when our time comes. Rest in peace, our daughter. Hi. I'm Junior. I'm reading for paternal cousins. For sure, an angel has gone back to heaven. An angel who brought love, togetherness, and joy to your cousins. You are more of a sister than a cousin to us. Just as Shosh would say, you makena, mamuhesh, and for sure, you are our makena. Being the elder makena among the other Makenas that we share a name with, you are a source of direction even in our games. Princess, our little girl, says it's your wedding. We would believe. We have so many questions to Shosho and Auntie, but the answers are unsatisfactory. 
at what point will we join our Makena where she is with other angels. Shosho says he went to be with Babu. Please, Babu, take care of our baby Makena as Shosho is taking care of us all. Soon we will bring you the sweets that Auntie buys. We do a birthday, Uko Heaven. Rest easy, our baby Tasha. We love and treasure you. Our deputy president, the clergy, our governor, the MPs, and the protocol observed. My name is Florida Kiende, auntie to Natasha, sister to the father, and sister in, the, in love to the mother. I will lead my tribute. And before I read my tribute, I want to thank the clergy, starting with my pastor, Pastor Dennis, when the father went to India with the mother and Natasha. When everything looked so weird and it was campaign time, to all the churches that I, I went, we really prayed for Natasha. But at the end of it all, God, you did what you thought was good for you, and we will not question you. And I will read my tribute. Mama, my girl, my mom, whenever I see your pictures all over, I see myself. Just like you used to say, Auntie, Afanana Nawewe. I got so much love in my heart, but how to express is a problem. Sincerely, 10 years was such a short period to us, but I decayed to gold. Just like your auntie Kiende, you are the only daughter to the family, the family flower and source of happiness, making it more hard to say goodbye. Tracing back to days I stayed with you in Embu, when you started school, you will never allow me to go to job without dropping you to school. Your other sister Kangai kept on reminding me how you tell me when you felt to puke as I fed you porridge with a base tone. Auntie Askia Kitu, Auntie Askia Tapika. Back in Nairobi Hospital before you left to India, I remember bathing and dressing you and walked you down the stairs as we engaged in a very timely talk, as you were full of life. And you told me you are out for checkup and you'll be back. While in India, you kept on telling me you'll be strong. And with a smile in your face, just like your namesake mom, you're very strong. Your mom, Joy, will tell me to do all yours when your health deteriorated. Hope you listened, mom. I don't think of you as gone away. Your journey has just begun. You're resting from the sorrows and pains but still living in our hearts, in the hearts of those who touch. For nothing loved is ever lost. Rest in peace, ma'am. Thank you. OK. Let's appreciate uh, the family members as they present their tributes. We now want to hear a tribute from teacher Jude, who was Natasha's uh, teacher. Where are you, teacher Jude? Please come, make your way here. And then uh, Christine Kangai, kindly come here. And Keith, Christine and Keith, please come here and so that we make the best use of time. This is uh, Natasha's teacher, one of the teachers, and she's going to make her tribute on behalf of the teachers and the school fraternity, I believe. Praise God. Praise God again. Ma'am Judy Waweru, Natasha's teacher. A beautiful, jovial soul. An angel I have seen grow from grade one. My little best friend, a girl that brought joy and happiness to everyone she came across the sparkling star that I had in my class. You sat just opposite my table and never wanted to switch just to stay close to me. Being heartbroken is an understatement. As a teacher, I have lost a gem. 
The chocolates and flowers were a way of showing your love to me. Every time your classmates would plan a surprise, you couldn't hold it, but just whisper to me with the excitement they are, they are planning something for me. Your love was beyond measures. She was always complimenting everyone she came across, and this would uplift our spirits as the SPA fraternity. Her intelligence was way beyond her age, and that amazed us. She had solutions in every situation that arose in the class. Natasha loved peace and always stood up for the truth. Your generosity, a conspicuous trait that your classmates emulated. You enjoyed greeting every staff, thus making you a favorite student to all. My sweet girl, it's with tears and disbelief that we will no longer have you leading devotions. Every smart and conscious of your appearance and loved her beauty and long hair. We had best photo sessions. Indeed, memories are best kept in photographs. While you were in India, we would video call on Saturdays and send greetings to your classmates and assured us that all is well and that you will be back to school. We prayed for your healing and had high hopes after a successful transplant, and eventually God healed you in his own ways. You are no longer in pain. It is well, my girl. Paradise has gained a lovely angel. I shall cherish the memories, your sincere love, hugs, and ever smiling face. It is well, it is well. Fly high, our ever shining star, Natasha. Thank you very much, uh, Jude. Now, Huyo ambaye anasoma anaitwa Christine Kangai ni big sister wa Natasha kwa sababu wamekaa na Natasha hapo nyumbani zaidi ya miaka kumi. and then that is tremendous tremendous love you can proceed Christine Praise God Mama your dem your demis has really affected me the many visits to the hospital kept my hopes high. The many promises you made to me are now memories. You promised never to give up, even when things were tough. When I got the news that you've gone to be with your maker, I couldn't believe. I wished I was in a dream. I thought. You had just taken a long nap, and you would, you would wake up soon. Little did I know that you are gone forever. Since you are damaged, nothing feels the same again. When I meet our friends, especially Sunday school kids, asking me how you are doing, it breaks my heart, knowing that you are no more. If love and tears could bring you back, you'd be here with us. But only God knows why you've gone too soon, Tasha. Dearly missed and forever loved Mama. It's okay. If granted another chance to take care of you, I'll do it again and again and again, lest he still we meet again. Tasha, my girl, my friend, and my small sister. It's okay. So I'll be reading the tribute to our dear sister on behalf of her brothers me, Keith, and Christian over there. Our beloved sister Natasha, how we wish the news of your untimely demise was a dream. We thank God for the years that he had given us to be with you. I remember the first time I held you in my arms. I was so excited to be a big brother. I remember the first day you went to school. You are so eager to learn. One thing about you is that you are a fast learner. I remember when we used to play football together. Whenever you scored, you'll get so happy. I'll miss our family trips during the holidays. You had so many hobbies, and one of them was swimming. 
He also loved animals. He would accompany dad to the farm and help feed the animals. I'll miss those sibling arguments like who will get to watch TV first. I remember you will get so angry if I watch football around you. I'll miss those weekends when we used to play PlayStation together. A day which I will never forget is on 16th September. That's when the transplant was done. I prayed for the procedure to be a success and indeed God answered my prayers. We will exercise together so that your body wouldn't become numb from lying in the bed the entire day. Before I flew back to Kenya, you told me that we will hold a huge welcome back party. Little did I know that our plan would never come to be. The last time we ever talked, you looked so happy. We all loved Natasha, but God loved you more. It will take time to accept what has happened, but I know God has big plans for us. If heaven is for angels, then that's where you are going. This is a goodbye for now. Even though you are gone, it will forever be in our hearts. R.I.P. Dear sister, till we meet again. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, now, uh, yes, wapigieni makovi vizuri. You look like you are thinking whether to clap or not. It's in order to clap even though we are mourning. Now, I want to request that someone brings Mama Natasha uh, to pay her tribute and I request Patrick Mwashimiwa, Baba Natasha, please come along uh, with uh, Joy, your dear wife, uh, so that uh, after she is done, you will also make your tribute. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Your Excellency, the Governor, Honorable Members of Parliament, uh, friends of Natasha, the clergy, and everyone else, praise God. Good morning. So my name is Joy. We apologize if we are really emotional. Try to understand us. I will read the tribute. So Natasha, my baby, my love, most precious gift from God, I lack words to express how I feel about your promotion to glory. Back in 2011, October, when I learned that I was expecting you, I was so excited and glad that God had finally heard my prayer and your only sibling then would get a playmate. The journey through that pregnancy was so enjoyable. You made me feel and look beautiful. On 15th of May at about 9 a.m. in the morning, I first held you in my arms and my joy was made whole. I remember your first cry as though it were yesterday. I got pampered by your loving dad for bearing him a daughter. And to be honest, you were and still are my family's pillar, my peacemaker. I have seen you grow through the last 10 years and your love for God, your brothers and our family is one thing I hold so high of you, my doll. You defended us, the Monenes, with all that you had and would always make our days bright and joyful, just as your name our makeda, our happiness. You were able to make friends faster than we would, and today we are truly witnesses of what a great lady you are, yet at a very tender age of ten, only 10 years. When, when God blessed us with the chance to serve the people of Chukagambangombe and the Drakaniti County at large, Tasha, you were so excited, and you would always tell us what you would love us to do for our people. During the past campaign, Mom, I got encouraged that even at our lowest in the hospital in India, you would still pray for your dad's win and kept assuring me that Daddy Atashinda, which I was who, Mom, just continue praying for him. You at some point asked me, Kwani Nani Dio Mweshimua Mom, Sini Dad, is it not Dad? God will, God will still help him to win, to continue serving his people. When the results were announced, I remember even with all those tubes and everything, we were so overjoyed and longed to be home to support your dad with his work. This to me was, the, was so encouraging that our family would have someone to carry forth our legacy. Natasha would have been a very great leader if she were of age. So I cannot 
recall a day that passed without you reminding me of your love for our family, God, and the community. I feel challenged by how strong and gracious you are, my Makena. Your love for God is something that I shall forever hold dear. When your little brother Christian was born, you were so excited that finally you had gotten someone to look after. When you went to India six months ago, you always asked me to call home and find out how everyone was. Even at your lowest, you would afford a beautiful smile and nice responses to our kin. Love you too. God bless you too. See you soon. You highly regarded your doctors and even wished to be like Dr. Divya and Dr. Tharma so that you would look after children. The entire Sana Hospital Bone Marrow Transplant team considered you the most obedient and cooperative patient they have ever had handled. Your promotion to glory was such a blow, not only to us, but to everyone when whom you talk to, and whom you talk to, sorry. Your promotion to glory was such a blow to not only me, but everyone when you talked to me of wanting to rest and go to paradise, which you had dreamt about. That was so beautiful, where your father was the king, I was the queen, your brothers were the princess, and our special sister, Kangai, was still with us. I really begged you, mom, to hold on. But you told me, mom, me shoka, nataka niende mbinguni. That was the most crushing moment of my life, seeing you with a lot of agony, distress, breathlessness. It was devastating that my once very happy baby was in so much pain. I could do nothing about it. It pains me up to now. And on 31st October, when you went for the usual outpatient reviews, as was the norm, little did I know that would be our last walk to the hospital. The next few days, things moved pretty fast. And before I knew it, you were very sick and critical, being entirely on life support machines. Mom, that was the toughest times for me. I, w I wish... I pray to God that... I wish I would get another chance to mother you, my baby. Rest well, baby girl. Dance with the angels until we meet again. Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. His Excellency the Deputy President, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, the House of Kraji, led by the moderator of the General Assembly, all leaders present, His Excellency the Governor of the Rakanidi County, all members of Parliament, the County Assembly of the Rakanidi, led by the Speaker, my brother John Babu, all leaders from all walks of life, my people from the great Chukegambangombe constituency, the great people of the Rakanidi, our friends who have stood with us throughout this difficult journey, Buaneswa Sifiwe. Buaneswa Sifiwe. I want to say that today we are celebrating. We are celebrating again in heaven because heaven has gained an age. My daughter Natasha was an Ijo, her Devon has gained. I want to lead a tribute to my daughter. And I don't think leading, leading to Tasha would even be enough because Tasha was our happiness. My baby girl Tasha, I should be the one lighting a tribute. 
it should be you lighting a tribute to me. But God had better plans for you from the first day. From the first day I held you in my arms at the hospital, I felt I developed a great love and attachment for you, ma'am. The day I held you out to school, for the first time, I was extremely excited. I watched you grow. I'd be a darling to your teachers and classmates. You had a special gift of making friends, even with adults. I want to tell you, some of the people you are seeing here from Nairobi are not our friends. They are Tasha's friends. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Tasha was a unique baby. The teacher who has lent the tribute on behalf of teachers here, Teacher Judy, and so many of our teachers became our family friends because Tasha brought them home. We would be seeing grown-ups at home. We wouldn't know who they are, and Tasha tells us they are his friends, our friends. The church, ECK Mabley Church, the one that we have seen here presenting, me and Mama Tasha don't attend ECK Mabley Church. But Tasha went to ECK Mabley Church alone, became a member, and a very strong member of the church. And almost the whole ECK Mabley Church is here today, mourning one of their own. In the state where we live, Tasha is known more than all of us. When we started preparing for Ambalio, people would come to our home and say, we don't know this family, but we know this girl. Tasha was just a unique girl. I will never forget your morning goodbyes and dags as you left for school, ma'am. When you found me at home in the evening, you'd come to my chair for me to cuddle you. You really loved that, and we used to call it Kama in Baby Baby, you, ma'am. You loved swimming, and I was your trainer. I enjoyed swimming with you and your brother Keith, but I would get, I would get tired before you. We used to swim even in deep sea, in the deep oceans that it was fun. When I think about your death today, and how much you trusted in God, and that he was going to heal you, I feel great pain. But I'm comforted by the one see John 11, that is 11, 5. I'm one person who believes that everything that is written in the Bible has a meaning. And the lighters of the Bible, when they were doing John 11, 5, they recorded the feelings of Jesus to us, mother, Mary, and Lazarus. And I believe this statement had meaning. The Bible says, so Jesus loved Lazarus, mother, and Mary. And so as a family, we believe even now gone that you have taken our daughter, you still love us. <laughs> it reminds me that even in this pain, Jesus loves us. Your illness came so abruptly. Everything seemed well. And even as we traveled to India, I felt it was just for a short time. Days dragged on, and I held it going to heal you. I saw you suffer my ego. I would come and campaign for one week and be in India for one week. I looked at my passport yesterday and realized that I traveled to India 16 times. You are so strong, and with such a, with such a clear and firm trust in God. The last week I spent in India with you now makes me realize that you are prepared to leave my girl. You clung to me, and I was also unable to leave your side. One day in our talk you told me, Dad, from now on, I want to always be by your side. You requested for some pocket money, and the other that I, and you requested that I take you to Maldives when you leave the hospital. I never knew that this was my last day with you. Your Excellency, today you have fulfilled Tasha's wish. When I left India, and she would tell everybody 
ukoda that when I get healed, I want daddy to do a big thanksgiving and invite all his friends. You'd mention the president at you. I didn't know this would be the thanksgiving. <laughs> the news of your death from your mother crashed me completely. I'd lost my father on a Tuesday night. And I was still mourning my father. When on Friday night, you passed on my car. When my father passed on, I drove from Nairobi. And when I was leaving Nairobi, Mama Tasha called me and told me Tasha has got critical and she has been taken to ICU. I got the two news at the same time. We drove from Nairobi. I talked to Mama Natasha from Nairobi to Embu on phone. We played. But I didn't want to tell her where I was going. I didn't want to tell her we had lost that. So I go to Embu. I received my dad's body. And when I woke up in the morning, the news of my father's death were all over. And I realized my wife would get it from social media. So I called her and believed her. And she requested me to do something very funny. She told me, get your phone and record a message for your daughter. You are the only one she can hear. She will wake up when she hears you. That was on Thursday. Then Friday at 1, your mother called me with the news that you are gone. But as a believer, I'm encouraged that, Tasha, we have not lost you. We've gained you in heaven. You are in heaven, Michael. I have cried and felt like I shall never find happiness ever again. But being a believer, First Thessalonians 4.13 will always put me in check because we are told not to mourn like non-believers. I'm a believer and I know where my girl is today. Because of you, I have learned that grief is love. There are ones people used to talk about I, would, I didn't know what they mean. When I heard people say they have grief, I couldn't understand. When I heard people say they are feeling emptiness, I couldn't understand. But I can do it now. <laughs> I've learned that grief is love. And nothing in life is permanent. I will love hard. And I will love deep. My age of my pleasure is jewel. I know that you are now with your maker. I promised to forever love you and cherish our beautiful memories. We miss you too much, ma'am. Mom misses you. Kedan and Christian miss you too. Your Excellency, and I have three children, and I told everybody in this gathering never to tell me I had three children. I have three children because Tasha will always be my girl. Tasha can never be past tense. And it's a coincidence that, Your Excellency, you have a son called Kedan and Christian. My sons are called Kedan and Christian. <laughs> Kagai misses you. In life, we got a special daughter, Kangai, who took care of our girl since she was born. And when she went to India, she went with her. She has been part of us. She's our family. It was an honor and privilege to be your dad. And I look forward to the day I will get to see you and hold you again. Fry with the angels my happiness. If we knew Tasha would die, then it wouldn't be an act of God. Because in the book of Deuteronomy 29:29, 29, 29, we are told that the secret things belong to God. So this belongs to God. Thank you. To apigia makofi wanapo enda kuketi. Ningependa kuwakaribisha wale ambao walifika kama tunaendelea 
e, kutoka mbali na kutoka karibu niseme karibuni sana e, tunataka kumalizia kipindi cha kwanza cha maongezi lakini hapo baadaye tutaweza kusalimiwa na viongozi wetu walio hapa kwa wingi kwa hivyo msione kama tumewakata watapewa nafasi yao watusalimie na watambulisho kwetu wote na wamekuja kuitika ndugu yetu e, mheshimiwa Pato wamekuja kwa wingi ningependa nirudie niseme ya kwamba wanaume wote ukitaka kujisaidia kuna choo ama vio vya kutosha sehemu hii unaona bendera na pia nyuma ya hiyo nyumba nyekundu hapo wadada wote akina mama wote wasichana wote kule nyuma ya fence ile iko huko kuna dispensary na hapo kuna toilets za all ladies wamama wote wasichana hapo kuna choo safi na ziko ta, tayari kutumiwa na hapa nyuma ya hema tuko na VIP uh, washrooms uh, for our special guests that are here with us after i sit down uh, we are going to be led in some music and as we sing water shall be distributed and i request you sit wherever you are water will be brought kuja kulia na familia na nitaanza na presbytery ya Magumoni presbytery na wakati huu nitaomba wazee wa kanisa ambao wako wa Magumoni presbytery wasimame mahala ambapo wako wazee wa kanisa elders from Magumoni presbytery thank you 
elders from Magumoni Presbytery. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for coming. God bless you. Um, I want to request uh, all the ministers from Magumoni Presbytery, Wasimame, ministers from Magumoni Presbytery. Thank you. Um, here we have Reverend Justin Kabubu, who is a minister within our presbytery. Tukona mchungaji Jameson Jagebole, mchungaji wa Iberega. Tukona mchungaji Timothy Mwaneki, mchungaji wa Doita Parish. Na tukona moderator wa presbytery, ambaye ni mchungaji wa Magumoni Presbytery. We also have our staff, we have the evangelist. Sorry, and um, I'm also reminded that uh, we have retired minister, our Reverend Morangiri, who is also part of the family. Um, we have our staff, our staff, they are still within. I know Wakona Shuguri, but we also have our staff who are here. They are somewhere doing their diligence. We also want to take this opportunity, I want to take this opportunity to give back the microphone to the moderator of the presbytery, ili akaweza kutambua wengine ambao metutembelea. Injia Presbytery na ministers from other denominations. Karibu moderator. Uh, asante sana uh, Presbytery Clark uh, ambaye ni mchunganji wa parokia ya Robati kwa nafasi ambayo umenipa. His Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya Honorable Digadi Kachagwa the moderator of 20th General Assembly Right Reverend Patrick Dego Motai, the Governor of the Raka Nivi County, Honorable Modom Njoke, aka Yemedo, Pamonja Na First Lady, the Deputy Governor of the Raka Nivi County, Honorable Moisiraeli, aka Yewake Oso, um, all the government officials that are with us today, all the MPs, all the women representatives that we have today, the MCAs, uh, the family of Honorable Patrick Monene, aka Yewa Kedomo, together with all the pastors that are with us today, and all the congregation that are present today, all the protocols have served. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi naitwa Kirimi Patrick, nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Nataka kuchukua nafasi hii eh, kukaribisha nyinyi yote katika eneo hili la Magumoni. Mkubwa wangu, the moderator of General Assembly, alitukaribisha sisi wote on behalf of the entire church. Lakini kwa sababu hata yeye ako kwangu leo nataka kumkaribisha hapa magumoni pamoja na wengine wote ambao umejumuika nasi siku ya leo tuendelee kujumuika na kuabundu pamoja na familia ya honorable patu nataka kuwatambua wachungaji ambao tuko nao all the PCA ministers that are outside for uh, Chuka Presbytery Magumoni President, sorry, Simamen Tavadari. Apart from the, the two Mondoitas that are here, Mondoitas Mbaki, wale wachunganji wengine ambao ni wa PCA, kutoka maeneo mengine kama tuko uko area, tafadhali simama, tukutambue. Naona tukona mmoja hapa, buwana, buwana mbaka na buwana kanyaru, kwa sababu si wengi, ningetaka muanjue kwa kifupi. Kwa oh, tukona wengine wawiri pale ya sante, tuwase na Reverend Dibola, sema njina tuna mari unaundumu. Asante, Reverend Bae. Asante, Reverend Baka. Bwana asibiwe. Manjina naitwa Elias Zimbaka, Yesu ni bwana ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Amritandi minister. Nimetoka chuka privitari. Asante, wewe ndika nyaru. Bwana sifiwe, bwana sifiwe. Onesmas kanyaru, nimestahafu, imenti Saudi Presbytery. 
Asante sana. Najua miongoni mwetu tuna wachungaji wengi sana kutoka makanisa tofauti tofauti. Lakini kabla tuanjue ningetaka tusalimiwe na moderator uh, wa chuka presbytery Reverend wa Mogonda tafadhali. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Naitwa Cyrus wa Mogonda mchungaji kutoka Chuka Presbytery moderator wa Chuka Presbytery na kwa niaba ya Presbytery ya Chuka ningependa kuleta rabirambi zangu na za Presbytery yote kwa rafiki yetu na familia hii ambao ni familia yetu mheshimiwa pato tunakuambia kwamba kama Chuka tunakupenda na tunaendelea kukuombea and we promise you that you are going to continue our journey Urafiki wetu utaendelea. Mungu awabariki sana na wageni wengine wote tunawakaribisha hapa. Hii tunaita chuka munene. Si mnajua hivyo. Kwa hivyo hapa nyinyi wote tunawakaribisha. Mungu awabariki. Asante mchungaji wa Mugunda. Tutasalimiwa na mchungaji Moraba ambaye ni mchungaji ni moderator wa Chogoria North Presbytery. Na tena ndiye regional chairman wetu. Na tena ndiye regional Upper Eastern Region. Uh, NCCK uh, chairman tafadhali tusalimie Asante um your excellency the deputy president uh, the moderator of the general assembly or protocols of served bwana yesu asifiwe njina rangu ni Samuel Oriongo nimeokoka yesu ni bwana kwa niaba ya kanisa la Kiplesbeteri eneo la mashariki na pia kwa niaba ya NCCK Upper Eastern Region tunaleta pole na lambi rambi zetu kama kanisa na kama NCCK kwa familia ya Honorable Patrick Munene wakati huu wa majonzi bwana warehemu asante uh, sana let us appreciate those ministers thank you thank you tuna wachungaji wengi na ningetaka wachungaji wote apart from the bishops Bishops pamoja na Father Joseph Father in charge of uh, Magumoni mbaki kidogo but other other pastors please mameni all other pastors apart from bishops please wachungaji wote mabandili apostles ni baki na bishops tafadhali ni baki na bishops na akibishops sasa kwa sababu nyinyi ni wengi na hatutaweza kusalimiana sisi wote si mtusalimie mtuambie bwana Yesu asifiwe na sisi tuwajibu Amen. Na tuwapigie makofi. Iyo inatosha. Karibuni sana. We are humbled. Eh, ona Bopatu. Uh, ameguza kila mmoja katika maeneo haya. Kwa sababu usiano wake na kanisa uko sawa. Yeye na kanisa wako sawa. Nikona bishops wengi ambao tuko nao. Ningetaka bishop wote ambao mko hapa tafadhali. Simameni na mwinji hapa mbele kidogo. All the bishops together with Father Jose. All the bishops. Nyinyi nataka mtusalimie kila mtu akisema ana undumu wapi? Finally bishop wa ACK eh, Merun Diocese ndiye atamalizia. Mwenye ataanza ni bishop Ken ateme njira na nini kevi? Chionka. Alafu finally bishop wa ACK eh, bishop Gabo ndiye atafunga hicho kipindi kwa kusalimiana na aseme mawili matatu on behalf of all the other clergy lakini hao wengine ni salamu tu haya unaweza anza father jose you can start now tum community yesu kristo god is good so i am father jose at present i am the priest in charge of magamoni catholic church we express our heartfelt condolences and sincere prayers to our honorable mp and his families it is a great pain it's a great loss even our fathers they are expressed their feelings through whatsapp so may god grant her the eternal rest with jesus christ thank you Ah uh, bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi naitwa Bishop Ken Mwangi na ubiri na kanisa la Full Gospel Churches of Kenya nasimamia eneo la Tharaka Nithi County. Pole sana 
Mwishimiwa, Patrick and uh, the wife and the entire family. Mimi bando ni wa family ya hiyo and God console you. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Love and reminder. Kanisa ni Christo Church. Christ co workers kutoka Kirinyaga County. Nikiwa hapa niko jumbani. Pato mke wake kijana yangu ametoa msichana huku. Kwa hivyo mimi nimekuja kwa dhoni wako. Mwiba bega, mwiba dhongi, Mungu abodha alime. Okay, thank you. Bwana apewe sifa. Majina yangu ni Bishop Fatfish Musimi Josia, General Vasia na Bishop in charge ya Tharaka Nithi region, Kanisa la East Africa Pentecostal Churches. Kwangu yale ningalipenda kumwambia ndugu yangu, rafiki yangu, pato Mungu na kutie nguvu wakati huu wa manjonsi. Asante. Thank you. Bwana asifiwe. God is good and all the time. Thank you. Jina langu ni Bishop Dr. Patrick Mutegi Ridere na undumu na kanisa la Gospel Celebration Church uh, ukuchuka na tena mimi ni mwenyekiti wa Tharaka Nithi Church Ministers Forum and on behalf of all the ministers in Tharaka Nithi <coughs> sorry and on my behalf I bring our condolences to our great man um, Honorable Pato and his wife, the first lady of Chuka Egamba Ngombe, uh, that may God give you peace and grace at this wonderful time. We pray with you. And one thing that we have liked about this family and this man, Ali Tushangaza, Wakati Alikua Wanapeleka Makaratazyao. Bandale ya kufanya kama vile politicians ufanya. Walikusanya wachungaji. Ili waweze kuomba pamoja na wao. Ili aweze kurundisha makalatazi yao. Na after kupita katika uchaguzi. Aliwaita tena ibanda ya shukurani. Asante sana. Bwana wapete kuwapea ngufu. Amen. Asante. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi ni Bishop Rotere na kwa kweli mama wa mheshimiwa wetu ni kasini yangu hata mimi nimeguswa Nikiwa Tanzania rafiki yangu mmoja aliniambia kitu kimoja Kifo ni mnyang'anyi aulisi ruhusa yeyote na akinyang'anya hata ufanye nini arundishi Kwa hivyo ni pole sana lakini anjui ya kwamba pole zetu kwa mheshimiwa wetu simefika Na mungu mwenye uwezo na mamulaka yote Kwa wakati wake Atatupa utulifu kwa pamoja Mungu wa saindie si zote Ili tufanikisa kasi hii Kwa ma, mungu ndio mwenye uwezo na mamulaka yote Amen Asante Bishop Asante ni sana The Mondalita The 29th the Mondalita Of the General Assembly The Deputy President Republic of Kenya, the Governor Tarakanidhi County, other distinguished guests, all protocol observed. I just want to take this opportunity to say that uh, my name is Right Reverend David Nkabo, uh, serving as the Bishop of WCK, Diocese of Meru, afraid also to the family of Honorable uh, Munene and the Mama. And first, I want to say that we are very, very, really uh, humbled to be in the presence of this gathering today as the Church of Kenya and also 
the Church of Meru Darakanithi for having been left by our daughter. I want to say that we are very happy to have our Mondadita, the uh, Mondadita of the General Assembly. Nobody else would do this occasion to be a very gracious occasion, like having you our Mondadita of General Assembly. I want to bring the condolences of all the church on behalf of all Christians gathered today, the pastors and the rest of us. We, all of us, love the family of our Honorable Munene and the Mama. And we want to say that uh, we continue fellowshipping together and praying for you. All is not lost. And even as I wrote to you in uh, SMS, you are not alone in this journey. The Lord is with us. And the Lord will continue to comfort the family and to give you strength. One thing that we cannot deny as we sit here right now is that we have no power, we have no authority over what has happened. But I just want to say one thing that our teacher used to tell us when we were in uh, primary and also secondary schools. The intention of every teacher is to teach a student and get what? Aye. And all of us as preachers, our intention is to preach to people so that they can have eternal life. And we are assured that our daughter is in the best hands in the eternity. What we can tell you, the Honorable Munene and the Mama, is about the three A's that I want just to mention. Is one, this thing has happened and we need to accept it. We all of us need to accept that our daughter has gone. And when we accept, the next A is to unjust. We just unjust and accept unjust. And the last A is that we advance. So I want to say that uh, our honorable and all of us who are gathered here today and the entire family, we need to accept, we need to adjust, and advance doing what is necessary and what is to be done for us. We have all responsibility as leaders to see that the work left is done. There are wishes of our daughter that was there, even to care for the poor. You have the responsibility as the family. You have to discharge the duties that are there. But we want to bring our condolences and say that the Lord is with you and the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. As Thank you. Sana. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, to begin, I'm a Bishop Gwote Makofi Monja. To where Pigie Makofi organized Monja. Thank you so much, Bishops. Thank you so much. Uh, the Klanje. Tunashukuru kwa sababu mumekubali kuwa nasi na kuwa na familia ya pato wakati huu. Nikimalizia on behalf of uh, Magumoni Presbytery. Ningetaka pia kupeana rambi rambi zangu uh, kwa familia ya onabo pato. Uh, rambi rambi za kanisa letu la Magumoni Presbytery. Ambalo ndilo limekuwa linashikiria parokia ya Doita nataka kusema ya kwamba ona Patrick amekuwa msaanda sana kwa kanisa amekuwa akinivesti kwa kanisa sana na akinivesti kwa Mungu sana na hilo njambu limemjenga hilo njambu limemtendea mambo makubwa hata wakati wa campaign hakuweza sana kuingia kabisa lakini kwa sababu ya neema ya Mungu kupitia kazi njema anayofanyia kanisa na Mungu eh, Mungu aliona kazi njema ambayo anafanya na akapata kibali cha kurudishwa mara ya pili Ningetaka kuambia bwana Patrick katika dunia hii tunapitia hali nyingi lakini katika kila njambo kama vile neno linasema tumshukuru Mungu Feel encouraged together with your family 
na unajua vizuri ya kwamba kama kanisa tumetembea na wewe tangu wakati mtoto wako alipata shinda ya ugonjwa tumetembea na wewe kama kanisa la PCA na makanisa yale mengine yote na njua tumekuwa tukikutana hata wakati huo eh, Bishop Brendiri amesema ni tulikuwa pale na tutaendelea kukushikiria hata baada ya mambo haya na ningetaka kumalizia na kusema ya kwamba uh, mtumishi wa Mungu Yusufu katika kitabu cha Genesis chapter number 50 verse number 24 alipokuwa anaenda kuaga ama akiwa karibu kufa aliambia ndugu zake ya kwamba mimi nasikia ninaenda lakini mkibaki mjitie nguvu na Mungu ataendelea kuwatembelea. Ningetaka kuambia Patrick pamoja na familia yako Natasha amewaacha lakini Mungu anjawaacha. Na Mungu atawahi kuwaacha. Sisi tuko hapa leo tutaondoka. You may not see such kind of a gathering again soon. But I want to encourage you and assure you that the Lord will always visit you. The Lord will always keep your family. The Lord will always keep his eyes on your family. Ningetaka kuambia Mungu awape nguvu na muendelee kutumikia Mungu kwa sababu katika kila njambo Mungu atabaki kuwa Mungu. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Back to the clerk. Asante sana moderator. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa ki pindi hicho tutaenda katika kipindi kingine cha kusikia tukisomewa masomo yetu mawili kama ya, ya kiandamana somo la kwanza tutasomewa na Sofi Kangai kutoka katika kitabu cha Isaia Isaiah 40 1 to 5 and then the second one will come from the book of John chapter 16 verse 16 to 24 it is going to be read by florida so first reading is here 40 to Our first reading comes from the book of Isaiah 40, verse 1 to 5. Comfort, comfort my people, says, says, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and call out to her that, that our welfare is accomplished, that our welfare is accomplished, that our iniquities is abandoned, that she has received of the Lord's ad and doubles for her as sins the voice of one who calls out in the wilderness prepare the way of the lord make his road straight everybody will be filled and every mountain and and hill will be made low and the uneven wheel will be made level and the love presses a plain and the glory of the lord will be revealed and all fresh will see the salvation of god together for the mouth, for the mouth of the lord has spoken that's the end of our leading amen praise god bana sifiwe we are going to hear our second reading from the book of john chapter 16 and verse 16 to 24 and the word of god says In a little while you will see me no more and then after a little while you will see me 17 some of his disciples said to one another what does he mean by saying in a little while you will see me no more and then after a little while you will see me and because i'm going to the father 18 they kept asking what does he mean by a little while 
we don't understand what is he saying. 19. Jesus saw that they wanted to ask him about this. So he said unto them, Are you asking one another what I mean when I say it? In a little while you'll see me no more. And then after a little while you'll see me. 20. I tell you the truth. You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will turn to joy. 21. A woman giving birth to a child has pain because a time has come. But when a baby is born, she forgets the anguish because of her joy that a child is born into the world. 22. So with you now is your time of grief. But I will see you again, and you will rejoice. And no one will take away your joy. 23. In that day, you will no longer ask me anything. I tell you the truth. My Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. 24. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, and your joy will be complete. And that is the word of God. Amen. I'm going to request us to stand so that we are going to sing one hymn that we are going to be led by the praise team for us to prepare our hearts. It is in our program, Bwana Usei Mujangu. Nishukue nafasi hii ni wasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu hamjambo. Bwana asifiwe. 
Bwana asifiwe. Mugeni. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa wema wake kutupatia siku hii tuje tuage mtoto wetu. Kusema kweli ni siku ya huzuni. Lakini anayepeana uhai alijua siku hii ingekuwa siku ya kumuaga huyo mtoto aliyepeana. God giveth, God has taken away. So his books are balancing. It is our books that are not balancing. Lakini the Lord who gave, the Lord has taken away. So we only yield to his will and ask him to guide us and take care of us as we mourn. And it's, it was said here, we will not mourn in despair because we believe not only in life before death, but also in life after death. My name is Dego Mutahi. Christ is Lord and Savior of my life. He has been faithful in our journey together. He has held me and enabled me, and I have entrusted my life to him, and I'm glad to be part of his great ministry in the world, along with others, and to speak the message of God to his flock. I bring the condolences of the entire Presbyterian Church of East Africa to the family of Patrick and Joy at this painful time. I bring the condolences of the Secretary General, the Deputy Secretary General, and all those who work with us at the head office and the entire church because they are aware that our, our members have lost a daughter and therefore they have been praying and wishing you God's grace as you go through this. We are also thankful to our leadership that they found time to come because that will help the family to heal. So our Deputy President, thank you for coming along with the entire leadership that is here because we know that will help the family to feel strong. Remember when Job lost everything, the friends who went to console him helped him to recover until they started giving their philosophy. The moment they were just with him, sitting with him, he was recovering. So when we stand with people who are mourning, we help them to recover. We are so thankful to God for the rains because the country has gone through a very difficult time in terms of famine and drought, but God has been gracious to us. We have raised now. May we make good use of them. Farmers, in terms of taking care of the environment, tafadhali, tuhakikishe kwamba kuna mambo ambayo tunafanya ya kusaidia mazingira kwa sababu tunajua kumekuwa na shida katika dunia hii because of our, the way we have destroyed the vegetation. We are also thankful to God that after elections, the country has enjoyed peace and the government is getting fully formed. Uh, therefore, we look forward to small service delivery in the days ahead because now we have people in place in every sector of service to the people. Kwa hivyo, tunawamba viongozi wetu, mushikirie Kenya vizuri, Pahari ya bapo kila mtu wamepewa jukumu, mulitekereze vilivyo kwa sababu Kenyans are looking up to you and they have so many issues they would like want you to resolve. And we are glad that the president said no to the debate that some of you had introduced about extension of, a, of the term limit. We are glad the president put it to a halt because it was unnecessary. There are other biting issues that needs to be attended to. And uh, I know you know them. Kwa sababu nji, mulituabia wakati wa campaign, najua munajua ni nini munapaswa kutufanyia, na sisi tukama kanisa tutawaombea, na tunajua kwamba hilo hayo ya tatimia. Because time is fast spent, and I know there will be also a session where readers who have a moment, I want us now to think about the scriptures that were read to us, and what God would want to tell us at this time, because he has gathered us here for a good reason. Let us pray. 
Almighty God, we are thankful to you for bringing us together, assembling us here. Though it's a time of mourning, we know you have your great counsel to us. Comfort us, console us, attend to our needs, each one of us, particularly the family. You are a God of all seasons. The time when we are mourning, you are our God. The time we are celebrating, you are our God. The time we are receiving new babies and celebrating, you are our God. Even when you snatch the babies from us, you are still our God. Therefore, we know you have a counsel for a time like now. Speak, Master. We are listening. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. It's good to also mention that this family is part of our ministry because the, the parents of Joy, uh, Leverett and Elder Christine, are also part of the ministry of the church. And again, Muheshimiwa is one of us. So we are here to comfort them because they are part of, they are organs of our main body. Now, from the readings that were read to us, one thing that comes out of them is that it appears like there are times God is at war with his people. Ni kama kuna wakati mungu ametangazia watu wake vita, hameamua kuwa chapa na kuwa umiza. Na kuna mahali kwingi katika biblia mnaweza kuona mungu wakionekana kama napigana na watu wake. In fact, at one point, even his own son, our Lord Jesus Christ, felt like the father was fighting him. And that's why he spoke in his mother tongue and said, Eloi, Eloi, lama zabakithani. He was speaking in his mother, mother tongue because he felt like the father was against him. So he told him, uh, you are against me, father, you are against me. I have, I'm suffering and nothing is happening. And if you read uh, the story of Israelites, there are situations where Israelites feel God has abandoned them. He is fighting them. He has abandoned us. Is he the God? Does he care? And there are many portions in the Bible where you can come across that. And even Daniel and his friends, as they were being taken into the furnace, they were not sure God would start with them. And that's why they said, well, we, we, get, we may get into the furnace that God may save us. But suppose he doesn't. We will not serve your God much as he may not save us. They were not sure what God will do. So there are occasions in the Bible where we feel like, oh, we are hurting and God is responsible. He has deserted us. Hakuna kitu anafanya ni kama anafurahia shida zetu. And I, that could be the situation this family is in. Having lost a father on a Tuesday and then on Friday, bad news of the loss of our daughter. There are situations like that humanly when you feel, ay, ni kama mungu ametuashiria, ni kama mungu ametuterekeza, hatujari, Hajui shida tunayo pitia, hatuerewi Na hiyo inafanyika kwa kila mmoja wetu No wonder when the Israelites went to captivity in Babylon They rebelled against God Psalm 137 They told God We will no longer sing your songs Because you are responsible You have allowed us to be taken to captivity By people who do not even worship you People who don't believe in you They have idols They are pagans Yet you have allowed them to take us to captivity. Therefore, going forward, we will not sing your songs. Atuwezi kuhiba njibo zako. Hata vinanda tumeweka juu ya miti. Uwe ni mugomo. Kwa sababu kama hutusaidi, scratch my back, I scratch your back. How do we worship you when you are not kind to us? You are not gracious to us. I'm sure you and me have felt that. You can see the pain in this family. I've interacted with Muheshimiwa Pato severally, and I know how humorous he is. Every other sentence he speaks is full of humor. But look at him today. He's in pain. He's hurting. And it is Leo, because losing a daughter at age 10 
Father, why have you forsaken me? Eloi, Eloi, lama sabakidhani. It is a very distressful time. People who believe in God and worship in him, you heard them, you know, mentioning scripture, quoting scripture, because they know scripture. You have heard the testimony of the people of God who have worked with the family. But here they are feeling that hapa tumeashiriwa. So there are times we feel like God is at war with us. And even in his statements, like if you read Isaiah chapter 6, after calling Elijah to go and do his work, that I'm taking war to the people. Go and tell those people to hear and not comprehend. In fact, I'm declaring war against them. And Elijah asks God, Eh, hey, yoni kari sana. Nimpaka lini watu hawa wataumia. Mungu na muambia, wataumia muda murefu sana. If you read Isaiah chapter 6, you know, the last verses, verse 8 through 13, it is God saying, I am not done with them. I'll whip them. I'll punish them. So is it true that God is at war with his people? When we read the Bible in its entirety, we realize it's not necessarily the case. Mungu hajatutagazia vita. Kwa sababu, igawa tumeangushwa, he is the same God in our first reading who says, comfort, comfort my people. After the pain that they went through, which they, which, uh, they were taken into captivity, he is now telling them, I have something bigger and brighter and better for you. Hata kama niliruhusu mpelekwe inshi ya uhamisho, hata kama mmekaa huko na mmepoteza so many opportunities, I have a better nation ahead for you. Even the temple that was destroyed, the temple that will come will be better than the temple that was there at the time he went to captivity. He tells them that the Jerusalem that will come will be bigger and better. It will not even require a fence because I will be the fence around Jerusalem. Comfort, comfort my people, says God. Meaning then that whatever pain we go through, it's not meant to destroy us. It's not meant to clash us. Because God knows he is taking us to a better place than where we are already in. Kwa hivyo, hata kama tuwauna kama mungu wa metutagazia vita, na kama anakisasi na sisi, ukweli ni kwamba mungu anajua, kuna mahali atatuasirisha, na tutakuwa bola, Kuliko tulivyo leo, buwana sifiwe. Mungu anajua kwamba katika mipango yake, igawa tumeumia, igawa tumeteseka, igawa tumedhulika, anampango mwema juu yetu, abao ni bola, kuliko hali abayo tunapitia sasa. And that's why in our second leading, Jesus tells his disciples, in a little while, you will not see me. But then after a little while, you will see me. And that is what will prevail. In a little while, you will not see me. But in a little while, you will see me. And as he said this, the disciples said to one another, what does he mean by saying, in a little while, you will see me no more. And then after a little while, you will see me. It's God who says, there are times I appear like I'm not in control. There are times I appear like I'm militant. I'm fighting the people. But then, eventually, when I come back, the people get better. When I get back, the people are no longer where they were. I have lifted them to another level that is better than what they were in. Kwa hivyo, comfort, comfort my people. Comfort, comfort, muheshimiwa, enjoy. Because what you are going through, painful as it is, God has good designs and plans for you that we may not understand now. God still wants to uplift you. And he will take you through this grief. You will go through it as painfully as you are going through it. But God does not intend to destroy you. So in a little while, you are not seeing him. When you received the news of your father's death, it was shattering, I believe. Anybody who has had a father or a mother, 
and has lost them, that grief cannot be quantified. But then the same week, in a number of hours later, again, as you have heard them say, they thought that Natasha would light tribute to them. Now they are the ones lighting tributes to Natasha. You can see that it's quite painful. So, for a little while, you are not seeing God. It is human to feel that way. There are times we feel that God has offended us so much, kama kugekua na koti ya kumpereka, tugemuasirisha huko. Kuna wakati tunasikia metutesa na metuumiza, kama kugekua na mahakama fulani ambayo, tugeweza kupereka marilio yetu na mararimuko yetu, tugea pereka tumushitaki. And we look for good lawyers to start against God. Like I have said, the Israelites were telling God, pare tumefikishana na wewe, hatu kuibi tena. Tumeshukua vinada vietu, tumeviweka jiwa matawi. Hakuna haja haku kuibia. Because we sang for you, we had made, we made sacrifices in the temple, tulikuwa tunaku worship every Sabbath, we even had certain national days when we came to just sacrifice, Passover, Pentecost, we came to Jerusalem, even the Jews who lived miles away who don't come to worship you. Yet, shukurani yako, baada ya sisi kukuwabudu, umeruhusu Nebuchadnezzar, a pagan, an infidel, a guy who doesn't sacrifice or worship you, umemuruhusu aje ya tuchukue, atupereke uhamisho. Ukiangaria tu like you are helpless. Like you are not almighty. Sasa, unafikiri tutayadhelea kukuwabudu tena. We have nothing to do with you. They were taken to captivity. But God sent his messengers to them even when they are in captivity. If you read Jeremiah 29, God is sending his message to the people in captivity, telling them, I have good plans for you. Sasa wanauliza, purani gani hizi? Abazo hazi kuzuia, tusije hapa. But God is sending his message telling them, come on, I'm still God, I'm still almighty, there is no other God besides me, hakuna mtu wa mungu wabaya na uwezo kuliko mimi, and I'm a loving God. I'll sort you out. In due time, I'll sort you out. Keep cool. Hata mukiwa huko, musi ubebe mabuhaya kwa uchungu sana. Tafuteni mashamba, mulime. Hata manyumba mujenge. Wavurana wenu waoe, wasichana wenu waolewe. And I pray for that city. Because what I have ahead for you is bigger, better than what you had previously. Ile Jerusalemu itarudi, itakuwa bora kuliko ile mulikuwa munajua. Ile hekaru itasimama, itakuwa kubwa kuliko ile mulikuwa munajua. In the same way as Christians we know that the life ahead is better than this life. Nimeahidiwa falme mwema. Nimeahidiwa falme mwema. Nimeahidiwa falme mwema. Hata nikifa nitatawa. You, you know, that's a song of giving a testimony that we know that there is something better God has prepared ahead than what we are having now. Therefore, when Jesus tells his disciples, in a little while, you will see me no more. Mutakosa kudiona. Mutaona mawingu ya metanda. Mutaona giza mchana. Machozi ya tawatiririka. In a little while, you will see me no more. On Friday, you are burying your father. On this Friday, you are burying your daughter. In a little while, you will see me no more. Then he says, but in a little while, you will see me. So the full stop is not after in a little while, you will see me no more. That is not where the full stop is. There is a comma. In a little while, you will see me no more. The comma, see your full stop. Muhechimiwa, Najoy, and the entire family, Mulangelis. In a little while, you see me no more. Wakati huu ni wakati ya bapo imani imetikizo wakabisa. 
mnajiuliza uhusiano wetu na Mungu uko namna gani but Jesus is saying that is not where the full stop is because after a little while you will see me and the disciples wondered he the contradiction unasema we will see you and not see you what is this that you are saying and Jesus said to them because i'm going to the father i'm going to the father i will intercede for you au nitakuwa nikiwatetea na kuwaonekea katika hali hiyo kwa hivyo ndio nasema kuna wakati amtaniona na kuna wak- lakini baada ya munda mtaniona tena no wonder the same jesus who felt his father was fighting him by crying eloi eloi lama sabakithani my father why have you forsaken me as he was about to die he said i com- my fa- father into your heart i commit my spirit so meaning at that point he realized oh oh god is going to sort out this problem hata kama niliona ameniashiria because jesus was truly human and truly god when he speaks he speaks as a human being and speaks as god he speaks on our behalf eloi eloi lama sabakidhani but then let's toss us to god by saying father into your hearts I commit my spirit. In other words you say mwewe tu ndio umeniumiza lakini najua dawa ya kuniponya iko kwako. Matibabu yako yangu yako kwako. Najua umenipitisha njia gumu au nimepitia njia gumu ukiona. Lakini najua tiba yangu iko mikononi mwako. So the same God who may look like he has hurt you is the same god who, who is going to attend to you kama yule mungu ambaye ameonekana amewaweka majeraha na vidoda die mungu tu atawafunga na mtakuwa bora na nafuu beyond this morning praise be to god and that's why the friends of daniel and daniel said god may hurt us by allowing us to get into the fire but we know since he is good all the time and all the time he is good through this pain of the fire ataleta matibabu yake ambayo hatuelewi ataleta namna gani and that was the same testimony of moses as he led the israelites and they got to the red sea and the red sea was was full of water and they were not swimmers and behind them were the were the enemies moses said god is going to sort this out i don't know how he will sort it but he will sort it i'm not sure how he will do it but he will sort it so he told the israelites be still be calm mungu kwa jia zake atatutuliza Mungu kwa jia zake atatutuliza na kutupatia matibabu ya kesho na kesho kutwa. Therefore it is human and normal to mourn. Machozi yatidhilike ni haki na wajibu wenu kufanya hivyo. Kuuliza maswali mazito kwa Mungu ni kweli kwa sababu hata Yesu amemwambia umeniashiria. Lakini upande wa pili tukumbuke sauti yake inasema I will tell it to you. I will walk to you. I will grant you a future and a hope. Jana tulikuwa tumetebea upande wa Narok kule mahali panaitwa Ewazo Kidong tulikuwa tumeenda kukutana na Wakristo kuwapelekea chakula. But when we got there it was raining and the roads were in very bad shape. We got stuck. And I felt God saying, you see, you have gone through the pain of famine and you are getting relief from government and from church and other organizations but the rains i'll bring will satisfy you more than any relief in other words god is saying i know you have suffered mumekuwa na uchungu wa jaa wanyama wamekufa lakini hii mvua ni dhihirisho la kusema kwamba nitawalisha and i'll give you more than anybody would give you because as we give and share relief to people it can never be adequate 
It can never be adequate. Even if we are to look for relief food, even if we are to look for any manner of help to give to our people, it can never be adequate as compared to what God can give them. Imvua inanyesha, abayo ni ya mungu, italisha watu kwa jia kubwa, kuliko chakula chochote abacho serikali, and we are glad you have been doing it, DP, we have seen you, sending food, flagging food to all places, organizations and churches have supported that as well, but that is not adequate compared to what God can do to his people. So God is still speaking and saying, though you are crying because of famine, I can bring adequate food, plenty of food, that is more than human beings can offer. Na huyo diye mungu abaye tunashia familia hii. Kwa sababu sisi tutawapia pole, tutawakonsolu kwa jia zote, but the consolation that will come from God will be bigger and better. And you'll be better people in the days ahead. This is not your head. It is a coma in your life. It is a coma in your family, but it does not spell the head of you. Na musisikize ushauri wa yule mwovu wa kuambia kwa amba sasa mungu wa mefunga vitabu vienu amemalizana na nyinyi na nyinyi mumalizane na yeye musisikie sauti ya yule mwovu ya kuambia like the the sisters to Lazarus when he went visiting after the death of their brother Jesus visited and I think they were also very angry because Jesus should have come earlier because he had been to other places and healed people who are unwell. And Lazarus was his friend. Kwa hivi ilibidi aja mapema kidogo. Lakini anakuja siku ya nne. Na wayahudi walikuwa wanaamini mtu wa kifa the first second that day roho yake haiko bali sana. Inaweza kuitwa iitike. But from the fourth day hakuna network Loho ya mtu imeenda kabisa. And that is the day that Jesus came. If he had come on the first day, there was hope. If he would have come on the second day, the third day, there was hope. Lakini ya ligoja mpaka siku ya nne. And that's why the daughters are rudely telling him, if you had been allowed, our brother would not have died. In other words, they are telling him, we don't see why you have even come. It is too late. You can't help. But God knew his mathematics. Alijua hapa hii ni tatatua hii shida. And he told them, your brother is asleep. Na ata, ah, wakasema, eh, wakati wa resurrection ya muisho watarudi. But Jesus was talking about an instant resurrection. And therefore, in our spiritual journey, for you and me, it is human to feel that God is fighting us. Mungu amealpigana na sisi. Hapa kuna vita abavyo ametuelekeza. Kwa sababu akafanya hili, hakuzuia hili, ushugu huu katupata na hakuna kitu walichofanya. Eloi, eloi, lama sabakithani. We can only speak to you in our mother tongue. Because you don't seem to care anymore. However, within a short time, Jesus is saying, Father, into your hearts, I commit my spirit. So after you have, you have been that eroi, eroi moment, Mweshimi and family, after you have been in that eroi, eroi moment, we want you at the end of today or in the few days ahead to say to God, into your hearts, we commit our spirit. Our future is in our hearts, in your hearts. And we know you'll sort it and it will be good and good for us. Even us as Kenyans, what we may have gone through previously as a prayerful nation, for a little while, we may not have seen him. But we know, in a little while, we should see him. We shouldn't severe our relationship with God. To sifuja uziano wetu na mungu, watuwe kwa mungu. Kamwe, isifike mahali tuwabia mungu sasa, Hatuna uhusiano na wewe kwa sababu mambo yameanguka yameporomoka ukiwepo na tumekukiri kwamba wewe ni mwenyezi 
tuzivuje uhusiano wetu na Mungu. Tuzidi kuimarisha because his designs for us are good. And that is what God is planning for us in the days ahead. So comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Isaiah 40, comfort, comfort my people. Comfort, comfort my people, says God, that he has good plans for you now and in the days ahead. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Thank you, our Lord, for reminding us that in a little while we may not see you, but in a little while we will see you. Thank you for reminding us that at one point we may feel like you have forsaken us, but you'll come in your mighty way, attend to our needs. So to you, we commit our lives. We commit our future. We commit our country. We commit our church. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to request the family to come over here so that we may say a prayer for you, commit you to God as you commit your spirits and your future into his hazards. So the family, tafadhali, mutakuja hapa karibu na jeneza, hapa abapo mnaona kama maisha enu imeanguka, hapa dipo kwenye msaramba wa matumaini. You can give us a call us as they come over. Give us a call us. It is well in my soul. Yes. As well in my soul. To see my mechanisa. Kraje, members of the Kraje, you can come and salute the family. The family, just come close here. that they are in. Look at the brothers and the, whole, the heart that they are going through. Look at the glad mothers, the glad fathers, the aunties, the uncles, all members of the family. Look at the tears that they are 
shedding. Oh Lord, for a little while, they may not see you. But in a little while, you overwhelm them. You cover them with your grace. You cover them with your provisions. Their future will be good. Even as we release Natasha to rest, because her time is over, it may maybe have been a short life, but Lord, that is how you planned it. And you're going to make this family well. They'll be fine in you. You're going to take care of them. Because that is what your word has reminded us. That your son on the cross said he felt forsaken. Then he committed his spirit to you. And we know that on that day he rose from the dead. And that he sits on your right hand in full authority. And he'll come to judge the living and the dead with full authority. Therefore, you had not forsaken him. You had great designs for humanity through him. You have not forsaken this family. Let them believe in you and trust with you. Trust you. And their future will be bright. Lord, wipe their tears, the tears in their hearts, the tears on their cheeks, even as they mourn. Remind them that you are still their friend. You are still their comforter. Comfort, comfort my people. May you partake from God, members of the family. May you partake consolation. May you partake comfort. May you partake hope now and in the days ahead. We surrender you to God who is able and willing to walk with you. This is our prayer for each one of you and all of you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is well. You may take your seats. It is well.
Asante tuketi. Asante. Wakati huu nataka kurudisha microphone kwa MC Bwana Dhuranera ili atupeleke katika kiwango hiyo kingine. Karibu. I would want us to appreciate the clergy for the great session that they have given us. Let's clap for them properly. Thank you very, very, very much. We appreciate you for the work you do amongst uh, God's people. Now, I want to say something that uh, Mwishimiwa Patrick, Baba Natasha, told me to say that I d it didn't hear like I said it well, but I'm happy that the clergy themselves testified. He had wanted me to very categorically give the appreciation that he usually has for the clergy because there is nothing he does without the clergy, without the church, and he tells me that these servants of God, together with those who are seated over there, he wants them to be appreciated because he works with them, he walks with them, they are part of his life. And uh, because Patrick will be coming briefly to speak, I hope he will also maybe sink the message home. But just to assure Patrick that we have appreciated the clergy properly, I want you to clap for them, all the clergy people who are here, the entire church. Let us clap and appreciate the clergy again. <laughs> Members of the clergy, that is from Patrick joy and their family to you. Now, we are bidding farewell to our little child and there are many children who have come from Nairobi and uh, there is a child before we go to the political part which, which we shall be led by Mwishimua Kareke Mbioki. Uh, Leon, where is Leon? A young child from Magumoni here. Maana watoto wameongea kutoka mbali na huyo alikuwa pia ongena ni wa hapa nyumbani tumpe dakika moja aseme jambo moja Leon from Magumoni Primary School where are you Okay Leon are you here I've been under a lot of pressure because of that Leon can anyone see him Okay maybe if we get him we'll see what to do So at this point um wa Patrick would want to say a few words uh, before we go to the next session uh, where our invited guests and members of parliament and even our other senior government leaders will speak. I want us to uh, allow Patrick to come and say some words that he feels he wants to say before we go to that other session. Karibu sana, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, MC. And thank you, moderator, for the good preaching. It's true, you had been sent for this service. Because at times I was asking, and the way God we serve you, and the way I do too many things to the church, and the way God I serve people, but it now answered. We want to sing and thank God for being with us. Choir, you will help us. Oh, yeah. 
can ever see them again. Thank you. You know, you know, even when David's son was dead, he still remained a leader to his people. And the people of Israel were still looking upon him as their leader. Even when I'm mourning, even when I'm crying, and to much okay, I'm bang on be my shimone no one a part of my name and a kumira motocon and get it at Aino to carry the way Ramono. My name and a queer and to mother a can in Monday. When Doria Mutone, the family, Nuendo, Tishon Kerebekata. Nuendo Munene, we have seen great love, Nanitoshe, Tenu Tarando, the family. Toshe Tarando, non Tony Mutone, Tia Wendo Munene. And to me to Mat Chukegambangombe, another Kanidi. To the house of Kraji, Wachungaji, you've stood with us. Your Excellency, when I went to India during campaigns, my campaigns were done by the church. They took it over and they campaigned for me. And they told me, don't come back. We'll do your work. Clergy, as a family, we really appreciate you. Tunasema Asante Sana. And finally, when our daughter fell sick, kwa sababu, I've seen, uh, I've seen the pain of a parent with a suffering child. And at times it's told until it comes to you, you don't know how difficult it can be. My wife, I know you've gone through one times. In my head, I still hear your cry the night our daughter died. And because you refused the doctors to remove her from the machine from 1 to 8 in the morning, you're still there, Clyde. That's a pain of a mother. That's a pain of a parent. Nande Shiria, Your Excellency the Governor, Apa Kwetu Daraka Na kwa sababu hapa ndiyo karibu na kwa kina Tasha. In the memory of Tasha, me and my friends will be doing a pediatric ward for children. <laughs> and when I say my friends, I include you, Governor, and your wife. <laughs> you, are, you are one of our greatest family friends. We do a pediatric ward for children. So that parents who are suffering with children, mothers who are suffering with the children, it doesn't mean when they come there, all will be well always. But they can find refuge there with their babies. So we'll be conducting a fundraiser as a family to set up Tasha's foundation that will completely be devoted to taking care of the health of children. And Your Excellency, I want to thank you and the President. When I was in India, I had campaigns for leadership in Parliament were so tight. People were really campaigning to be placed in positions in Parliament. Your Excellency and the President, in my absence, you saw it fit that gave me a position in Parliament as a Vice Chairman of the Health Committee when I didn't lobby. Mwishimwa Ichungwa, my majority, I thank you too. Your Excellency, pass my regards to the President. We're really grateful. I don't want to talk beyond that. Nitu kuambia wanasiasa mukiongea kwa sababu tunaenda kupumuzita Tasha maali mimi na ishi Your Excellency Muonge araka kwa sababu kukinyesha atutaenda. My road is too bad. <laughs> thank you and thank you all for coming to mourn with us. Thank you.
Uh, we are now at the tail end of the program, and I want to make this announcement. After our dignitaries have spoken, kindly do not leave because we have food for each and every one of us. Actually, we have food for more than the people who are here. Uh, we shall give you arrangements of how that will be done and how we shall move down here, about a kilometer from here to the barrio site. So kindly, kindly, even after our deputy president has spoken, please be calm and uh, my core MCs will come and give us directions on that. So uh, without much ado, uh, I now want to hand over this meeting to the political side and I want to invite uh, a political prophet, Makarina, to come and invite uh, Karek Mbioki to finish and take only one minute to make one remark and then Karek Mbioki will take over. Ah, Bwana Yesu azifiwe! Anto madara kanithi toka zani ya ni mozomi na yere na arwa. Dabo yere inga ba no kwa ndunti wa agiso ili. Kwa angu mimi, munene ni ndrugu yangu. Wakati nilipata accident, munene ile nguvu wa menipea, diyo ni mecha nganyikiwa. Sijui kwe li naombanga ama ni nini. Kwa sababu munene kila wakati, ya hako kwa kanisa. Makarena hajaenda. Munene hako kwa rambe, makarena hajaenda. Lakini wacha niyajia mungu. Kwa sababu hata angenita, nigekimbia zingeenda. Sinikweli. Ile ingine leo mimi sita ongea sana. Kwa sababu ni mtoto, ingekua ni mtu msima, tungeongea. Leo hii, niko mbele ya mkubwa, nipi the president, na ngavana, wenye ziku pigia kura. Kwa hili mungu ni maajabu. Tukona zawi na zenge katikati ya miti. Lakini hile na waeza sema leo hii. Watu wenji wanazemanga. Linde manjarete, uko hapa. Mimi hile na waeza sema na waeza wambia asanti. Kwa kitu moja tu. Kusamea mtoto wetu kenoti akakua free anaweza kunywa maji kwa sereka alienu. Asante, wana ndipi the president. Kusamea, kenoti. Saa inaweza kupanguzia kiatu, ni mefurai sana. Ile ingine mimi naweza sema. Tuko na mama yetu. Ngava na wapa dharakanithi. Tuko na ngava na wadharakanithi. Kama mi nilipigia kuhura meru, lakini ngava na yangu, nikifika na arobi, nikifika mwambasa, na ulizango ngava na wako nina nazema mudho mijoke. Kwa sawa ustaki kaibu, sina mugulu, lakini mini mwana ume, nataka kuwa na kitu. Kwa hiyo, excellency, siku kupigia kura, siku utaka hata kukusikia, lakini ya bukuja meru, usikilia mudho mijoke utusaindie, ni hacha kusumbua pato na akona stress. Sina mengi ya kusema, ila ingine ni kusivu serekali, kwa sababu ya wale mavu. Sia wa isivu hii zerekali tena Na sia tinjuna isivu Ni mengia kwa zerekali Ni masuri Ile ni meona kindogo Saa hii wale mavu wote Wanarenjisti wa upia Wale watu walikuwa nakula kwa wale mavu Sijui kama ni ukweli mutawashika Ama tutaendelea kumia Iyo wacha niachie Kwa sababu tuko kwa sere ya mtoto wetu Na kila mtu wako na kilio Pato Pole Mwana hata sonko hamefika, tuko kwa kwa wewe. Ukiona manavi wate, kananu yuko, sonko yuko, aki patoe ni rafiki wa kila mtu. Excellency, huyu mtu ni mwana ume. Hame tusikanisha. Hebu ni ambia mimi si wa yundi, ye si wa wapi. Lakini nilibata accident, ye ndi alikuwa na nileta kwenu. Na muambia kichungu wakiwa pale na nyoro si ye ndi. Asanteni, mungu wa wabariki.
Asante sana mweshimiwa Makalina. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Ligadi Gachagua, our governors present, led by our governor Modomi Njuki, I can see our sister Cecily Balile, Viongozi wa Kanisa, wa Kiongozi wa na 23rd, Moderate of the General Assembly, Viongozi wa Jumbe Wenzangu, Familia ya ndugu yangu mwesimua patu, antubetu bonde bachuke gamba ngombe la kanidi county, wanajesu wa sifiwe. God is good all the time, and that is his nature. Wow. Kwanza, your excellency, on my own behalf, on behalf of my family, on behalf of the great people of Mala constituency, Naomba kuchukua furusa hii kuambia our brother Mwesmua Patu pamoja na familia pole sana kwa sababu ya kuitwa kwa mtoto wetu it has not been easy for this family your excellency they have walked this painful journey and i really want to take the opportunity to thank your excellency and our president William Samoei Ala Pluto and the entire leadership na watu wetu wote wa Tharakanithi County for standing firm with our brother Pumwesimua Patu at this difficult moment. Kama vile umesikia Your Excellency last Friday we were here when we were laying to rest Patu's dad. The other Friday Your Excellency you were just in the neighborhood as we were laying our governor's nephew uh, Alex. So it has not been very easy for us, but we want to thank God for his mercy and for his comforting, uh, the way he has been able to comfort his family. Your Excellency, on behalf of the people of the Rakanidi County, we really want to thank you. Because when Pato lost his dad, and the next Friday, last Friday, he lost his daughter, Natasha. That early morning I called you and I told you that you have lost Natasha, whom you have really helped together with His Excellency the President. I remember when they were flying to India, you stood firm with this family. You gave them all the support which is needed together with His Excellency the President. The members of Parliament when uh, Natasha was in India, they stood firm, our religious leaders, the members of the Kranji, they were there having several uh, religious meetings, summons in support of this family. So I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, you, Your Excellency, equally for finding time out of your very busy schedule to come and join us as we lay to rest. Led by our speaker, John Babu, all the members of the County Assembly, Tafadari to Simame, to Kiongozwa, now our speaker, Mwesmiwa and John Babu, let us appreciate them. Our Nibiongozi wetu, Watarakanidi County Assembly. Vire Vire, we have several members of parliament, and I want to go through them. Uh, we have uh, Mwesmiwa and John Murugala, Kutoka Daraka constituency, our brother there just wave. We have Richard Diegon, Pometi East, Abaya Kuapu, Ametoka all the way from Pometi. We have John Kagusia from Mukuloini, he is there. We have David Kiplagat, Kutoka Soi, he is there. We have a good friend and a neighbor, Vire Vire Turikua Nae Apa, Mwesimiwa Kalemba, Kutoka Ronyenjes, na Antikuni Aturinge Irari Tufanyia Kegoso Apa, Kama Ilia Mwesimiwa Muisraeli. Then we have uh, our good sister, Ndabu N, uh, Mama Kauntu wa Embu, Vire vire tulikuwa na ee hapa as our good neighbor. We have Mwesmiwa Kwenya kutoka Kinangop. All the way kutoka Ndiwa, we have Martin Peter Zowino. Then kutoka Kimirili, we have Mwesmiwa Ndidimas Balaza. Then uh, we have our chief whip, Mwesmiwa Osolo Akwapi. Na uyo ni mudonua. Ameoa hapa hapa hapa. Na vile vile ametuambia leo amekuja akimalizia ndao aliendelea kutoa kidogo kidogo kwa sababu alifungua account na bando anaendelea 
kutoa. Vile vile we have uh, Mweshimiwa Kagogo Mboen kutoka Malakwet. Ndiyo huyo rafiki wangu sana. We have our sister Mbeti Maina kutoka Mulanga County. We have Mweshimiwa Sabina Chege nominated member of parliament who has stood firm with his family from when the, this, these things happened. We have our good friend Ambaye when uh, Mwesmiwa Pato was away, they used to come here with our deputy president, Mwesmiwa Ndidi Nyolo. <laughs> vide vide we have Mwesmiwa John Paul. John Paul Mwiligi, kutoka Igembe. We have Mwesmiwa Japhet Nyakundi, ndiye ule, kutoka Kitutu Chache. We have our brother Mwesmiwa Gitonga. Mukunji from Manyata constituency. Uh, uh, then we have our senator, Mwesimiwa Mo Fire. Ndiye huyo, Mwesimiwa Mo Fire. Asante sana. Ene waneo, suma ya blept? Yeah, you have, you have uh, Mwesimiwa Pokose. Gutoka Endebes. Anybody else? Ambaye ni chair wa EOD committee and Mwesmua Patu is his vice chair. Let us appreciate Mwesmua and Dr. Pokose. Huh? Then uh, we have our past leaders led by our first uh, governor, the first governor of the Rakaniti County, Mwesmua Samuel Mbae Lagwa, We have the former member of parliament for Nidi constituency and Assistant Minister for Trend, Mwesmiwa Petke Mireti. Then you can to kona viongo zwengi wa siyasa kutoka the Rakaniti County, who are not seated. Viongo zwa siyasa ambao tuko na wapa kutoka the Rakaniti County naomba tafadhali, except those I've mentioned was mame, we need to appreciate you because uh, you have really stood firm with Mwesmiwa Pato, there are many, many, many you have Professor Njoka there, you have Getonga Lawrence there, you have Mpongo there, you have our first speaker of the Drakaniti County, Dinje Mbai. Your Excellency, amid this year, we have uh, our spouses as members of parliament. We are here to celebrate the life of Natasha. Joy Patu is a member of NALSA. It's a, it's a group or association bringing together all the members of parliament spouses. You have Mrs. Kareke Mbiuki. Murugara is the chair of JILAC. Namimi Kareke Mbiuki is the chair of Watari Wote in Dunia Muzima. Kazi yangu ni kuakikisa Kenya become the best destination in the whole of Africa and the rest of the world. Kwa I'm not playing at the local league now, kazi yangu ni kutembea in Dunia na kuhakikisha watalii wameleta the foreign currencies na wanakuja kuona wanyama wetu together with the other responsibilities so your excellency we are extremely grateful we have uh, uh, an apology from our mama county mwesmua susan who is out of the country and she has also stood firm with this uh, with this family so your excellency vile vile tunataka kutoa shukran vile vile tumepata principal secretary in the name of betsy mudoni who will be handling blue economy and fisheries. So your excellency as a community, as a county, in wakati wetu. Kama siyo wakati huu, sijuin wakati mgini gani. So your excellency, you want to pledge our loyalty, we continue uh, supporting the government of the day, so that we can be able to deliver development to the great people of the Rakaniti County. Kwa hivyo, your excellency is taiku wangea mengi, because of time schedule, at this juncture, I want, to, I want to invite uh, the chief whip, Mwesmiwa Osolo, who is our in-law, because we want to say something on behalf of the family. Na aliniambia, ile kandawa li nikuwa nasema ataacha. So ndi ongasema, I give him that opportunity, so that atakuja tusalimie. Then from there, invite our majority leader, one minute. Then from there, we can be able to proceed with our program. Asanten sana na mwenyezi mungu ambaliki. God bless you. Thank you very much, Mwishmiwa Kareke, to the clergy, the family, 
Your Excellency the Deputy President, Your Excellency Governor, and the leadership that has come to mourn with our colleague, na wadosi wetu wanainchi wenzangu, hamjambo. Hamjambo tena. Your Excellency, the tradition, when you are with your in-laws, you don't talk much. And uh, it's a surprise that I've been placed here to talk, because when I was marrying my wife, about 13 years ago, Pato told me that uh, ukirudi hapa na mstana wetu wakue kidogo, ameguaru hata kidogo, wewe tuta, utaacha mugu. So, I'm sitting next to my wife, just to make sure that Pato does not see the legs, kwa sababu siju kama sengenge iliguara yeye kidogo, afikirie ni mimi niliguara yeye. Patrick, in 2013, when uh, my wife went to hospital to deliver, after nine months of waiting for the baby, in just within five minutes, uh, the baby passed on in hospital. And your words to us then, a single word was, it is well. Today, we are here to tell you that it is well. God has a reason. I lived with my son for only five minutes. You've lived with your daughter for only ten years. There is a reason for everything. May God give you comfort for that. Your Excellency, we want to appreciate you big with His Excellency the President. In the last visit, the very latest visit that Honorable Pato made to India, he was so devastated, low in spirit, and almost, you know, completely broken because he was very, very broke. The daughter has been in hospital over some time. It was within the campaign period. He had to maneuver within the campaign, balance the family and also campaign, you know, uh, for his, to defend his seat. You stood by him, yourself and His Excellency the President. You gave him money, you paid his air ticket, and we want to appreciate you big for what you did. Thank you very much for that. In conclusion, Your Excellency, you've heard that I've been given instructions. Yakoma nikirudi hapa, ni malize dawari. Awa watu sema yakomba, wabunge wakonao ni wawili. Kwa sababu mimi ni tu hapa hapa, in the same family, na kule kisi, mahali ni metoka. Pia mimi ni mbunge kule. Your Excellency Kidogo ni mekwama, kwetu sisi ulipa dawari ya ngombe. Na sisi uleta ngombe zikitembea kidogo kidogo. Hii njia ya alamano, Your Excellency, hata ngombe ya ziwezi pita, uwa zinateleza kwa sababu, kwa sababu, ni njia mbaya sana. I know the government is setting up, you know, the strategic plan, as you set that strategic plan, please include i barabara ya kuteremuka chini kuelekea la mano iwe lami. With those many, many remarks, may God bless you. Thank you very much. Asante. Asante sana mudonua. At least to meskia manene ya balabala ni lazima balabala iwe kwe lami ii tuletewe ngombe. Ama na mnagani watu wetu. Eh, hey, ngombe tukonazo lakini atu wetu kaletewa ngombe vila kueka tamaka. Uh, the intention I want to invite our senator more fire so that he can be able to make his very few remarks and invite the majority leader Kimani Ichungwa. Asante sana. Uh, kwa heshima ya ndoto wetu Natasha, our deputy president, Yongozi wote wala kwa wa kisiasa naona kuna my brother governor Njoke wajumbe wenzangu wote wala wako hapa speaker na MCs wote viongozi wa serikali na ntoba kwa madaraka nidhi muge ni bwinde god is good all the time na waomba kwa heshima tusimame hata kama ni sikodi bili to observe moment of silence in respect of this innocent soul Kwaishima tu, Deputy President. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Mheshimiwa Patrick na I'm very sure kuna mtu mwingine yako na machungu. Mkiwa na bibi yako Joy. Kwa sababu katika kawaida yetu kama sisi wa Afrika ama binadamu huwa tuna expect watoto wazike wazazi. Lakini tumeona huyu ni mtoto mdogo ambaye ameweka neti waka kubwa zaidi. Na ndio nilikuwa naambia mheshimiwa Pato hiyo neti waka ya, ya mtoto wetu Tasha ni ya mheshimiwa Patrick. Mtuirege nda ale ana boira ukayakuwa kwenda mtu wera network ya Kenya. Kule mbunge out of 349 members of parliament mpaka senate hakuna mtu ako na uhusiano mwema na wajumbe wenzake kuliko huyo kijana aitwa Pato. Pigieni Pato makao vitafadhali. <coughs> na ndio sababu naona serikali yote yote ile iko hapa mpaka marafiki zetu mwa tuko na songo pale tuko na ndugu yetu my brother e, gachagua tuko na viongozi wote wa serikali hiyo ni ishara ya kutuambia kwamba pato unakaa na watu vizuri na pigiwa makofi tena kwa heshima <coughs> ya mwisho naomba tupigie Mungu makofi kwa sababu ya kutupatia huyu mtoto miaka kumi ya mwisho mimi nataka kupeana salamu za kijana wetu CS wetu wa interior professor kedule kedeke ambaye ametembea na ifabiria wanalea tu atete baba wetu ntwega wanaende ugu tuna mwana wetu kidhuro kindike na angekuja hapa our deputy president anajua mahali professor yuko mahali CS wa interior anajua anajua mahali alimemtuma na nilipokuwa nakuja sababu ya kuweza kuja wakamati alinipatia mbahasha waponi huyu ni malaika ameenda kututarishia mahali tutakaa bandaye kagu mtu wangu tagua tie tie weguru tutaenda Tatasha rara vizuri. Thank you baba. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hii pesa senator utanipatia utapatia governor Njuki kwa sababu tukianza kujenga ward aid ya governor so pesa ya msingi imepatikana governor. Hii ni pesa ya foundation ya msingi ya ward. So we've got money for foundation from our senator. <coughs> Na nuega kuiranto mama matari kwa pato karagere mbia ta When I was talking to Kidiki last week na damu ya senator Tasha au gete akabirwa outing jana ndeke abola ambirire no kwenda ko mobile outing yeyu ko gunde ke nwile tele Tasha Monde irale birwe ne professor Kedure Kidiki Asante sana our senator once again your excellency kwetu on behalf of the people of the Rakaniti county nikutsema shukran and in a special way your excellency allow me to thank all members of parliament i was acting as the liaison person as we are coordinating uh, these uh, function today even wakati wa baba and i can tell your excellency members of parliament have stood firm with the family of mwesmiwa patrick monene I think Changcha want to, to call my, my majority leader so that he can now be able to continue the program. Karibu sana Mheshimiwa Kemani Chuma. Let us appreciate him. Thank you Mheshimiwa Kareke Mbiuki, Your Excellency the Deputy President, Governor wetu wa Dharaka Nithi, Mheshimiwa Patrick and uh, your beloved wife and your family and the house of clergy na watu wa dharaka nidhi na chuka inga mangombe bure yaga asante sana na yangu hata kuwa mengi sababu your excellency naona mvua karibu inyeshe na mheshimiwa pato ametoaambia barabara haipitiki sipokuwa nimesikia mheshimiwa osoro akisema atalipa dawari na hiyo barabara lakini nataka niambie mheshimiwa osoro hiyo sio yake dawari alipe hiyo kazi ingine achie deputy president ya barabara afanye lakini ngombe ulete ngombe itatembea barabara venye iko <coughs> Mheshimiwa Patrick na I want on behalf of the speaker of the National Assembly where you serve to convey the condolences of all members of the National Assembly our speaker our deputy speaker and the entire leadership of the national assembly na wote wameniuliza kwa niaba yao sababu wangekuwa hapa wote 
and on behalf of all those members of parliament who are here ni waambie wewe na family yako pole sana kwa kumpoteza mtoto and as you have said and as we've all witnessed here today there is no greater pain than the pain of losing a child for a parent and we stand with you and we'll continue to pray for you there is nothing that we will say today nothing that we give you that would be greater than prayers that god may stand with you and your family as you have said you are a believer and we know you as a believer and we have seen it in you and your wife i remember during the campaigns your excellency every time i talk to patrick singeweza kumuuliza kawaida tukipigiana simu wakati wa campaign tunaulizana ground iko namna gani and every time i spoke to my brother i would only ask him about the baby girl and he would keep updating us and as he has said here your excellency when we finish the elections and we won all members of parliament who are here will bear witness that everybody was in a frenzied campaign for seats in parliament and patrick called me gave me his interest and he told me he had spoken to the deputy president and the deputy president and the president directed me that when you are allocating seats to members of parliament please reserve the vice chairmanship of the health committee because that is what mheshimiwa patrick desired for mheshimiwa patrick because he will not be available to even come all the members of parliament from this county are leaders in the national assembly mheshimiwa mrogara is our chairman jailak and mheshimiwa baba yao rekembiuki ndiye mkubwa ya watalii wote Kenya na dunia mzima kama alivyosema therefore kwa hayo mengi ama machache sitaki kusema zaidi sababu ya masaa lakini ndugu yetu Patrick ujue bunge lote la Kenya hata senate many senators have sent us with their condolences to you and your family and we shall continue to pray for you and be with you with those very many remarks allow me to have the honor to invite the governor of the Rakanithi county mheshimiwa mudhomi njoke for his brief remarks before he invites the other guests thank you and god bless you yeah thank you mheshimiwa ishungwa mheshimiwa kikuyu na leader majority his excellency the, the deputy president of the republic of kenya Rigadi Gashagwa, the moderator of 23rd General Assembly, Reverend Degu Patrick, the governor of Embu County, our sister, His Excellency Cecil Mbarire, the family of Patrick Munene, and the greater family, our MP, together with your wife, Joyga Kenya for the interest of time all the members of parliament who are here leaders including the county leadership god is good and all the time anakuwa ura na mwa uri rwanga inwa mwega kana there angatambi mbalo mbere mbura abuka mukuru mbere mbura mwa shoka mwakira kaba yura turange maria i want to take this opportunity before ni peane rambi rambi zangu kwanza kabisa ni seme bwana patrick tuko hapa was introduced uh, na bwana mbiuki ambao ameongezwa na speaker wetu bwana mbabu lakini pia na is their, their presence Nataka kabla sija peana rambi rambi zangu ni mwalike our good friend the governor of Embu County Honorable Cecil Mbarire His Excellency who is a good neighbor apeane rambi rambi zake Thank you Governor Mudomi Your Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, 
my brother Pato and your wife Joy and the rest of the children and the extended family, colleagues, I call you colleagues, former, <laughs> former colleagues, members of parliament led by the majority leader, Mwashimu Akemani Ishongwa, Viongozi Wote, Kutoka Dharaka Nidhi, na Wanainji Hamjambo. God is good, and all the time. And wa Dharaka Nidhi Muyaro, Muyaga Renge. Tumekuja hapa kuwa na dugu yetu pato, ambaye na I consider him as my young brother, alinikuta mbunge in his first term, and we became very good friends. And I'm here to tell him and his wife, Poleni Sana. I must say I am extremely encouraged, vile muko nanguvu. But I've realized that strength that you have today, that you are able to stand in front of us, can only come from God. And we thank God for him taking good care of you, seeing you through some real pain from your father to your daughter, Pato and Joy, may God give you comfort now and in the future. To the people of Chukai Gambangombe, thank you. Kwa kuchagua uyu kijana, Pato, for a second term. He's a great leader and with a great future. And eleeni kumushikilia, he'll be a greater man in the future. He will be a greater man in the future. Um, your Excellency, we came here because also Sisi Nijirani from Embu County. I've seen my MP, Mwashimua Karemba, is here. Mwashimua Joki Wanjero, Double N, our women rep. Mwashimua Mukonji. That's to show you we work very closely with Araka And let me take this opportunity kwa sababu watu jakutana hapa pandeyetu tangu tushinde to thank you and the president. Because before tuende kwa siyasa, tulikuwa tunawambia kwamba wakati wa siyasa mulima Kenya inakuanga inateremushwa kati yetu pande ya Mount Kenya East na Mount Kenya West. Lakini after uchaguzi, mulima Kenya inainuliwa. And I remember you specifically said, hiyo mulima haitawai kuja kati kati yetu na watu wa Mount Kenya West. I want to thank you. I thank you because mumetuchukulia kijana wetu shupavu linturi katika Ministry of Agriculture. Mukakuja hapa tharakanidhi, mukachukua ndugu yangu, Professor Kidure Kindiki. Mukakuja embu, mukachukua ndugu yangu, JB Muturi. Anga kute kuendo ando eto. Si wamefanya kazi mzuri, wampigieni mapofi tafadhali. I also want to thank you because ata kwa appointments za PSS, mumechukua meru, mukachukua tharakanidhi, mukachukua me embu. Our plea, ni kwamba muendele hivo hivo. Kwa kila appointment, chukue ni meru, tharakanidhi, embu. Embu, tharakanidhi, meru. Na sisi, atutawai waacha. Na tunangoja development, you know our agenda, right from meru, to the Rakanidi, to Embu, agenda yetu ni maji, agenda yetu ni agriculture, agenda yetu ni barabara. Kanate uwa murenda? Neto avetiri ya ndo eto? Neto adhurire ya tongori ya ega? Mavorere irove. So your excellency, may God bless you, continue working hard, we support you, and we recognize you as a great leader in Mount Kenya region. Keep up the good work, and you have our full support, and you are most welcome to Embu next time. Asante ni sana andoa tharakani dinga ya moyo amura dime muno muno na mwa kinya embu mukaruga mamoga kunda gasai tu endu tu endu muno asanti. Thank you, Governor, for being a good neighbor because you can choose your friends but you cannot choose your neighbors. You just find them there. Kwa hivyo kipata moja baya ni rafiki una shukuru mungu. Patrick Munene, my son, I always call him my son. Hata napata ungumu sana wa 
kwa kuongea mambo ya my granddaughter lakini kabla hujaongea tulionyeshwa spouses wa members of parliament na wakasema kwa kwa ile nalsa ambaye bibi yangu alikuwa amerejista zamani lakini nafikiria siku hizi ya kusimama kwa sababu hata ingawa ni member wa hiyo spouses association siku hizi ni member wa ingine ambaye atutaki kutaja sana kwa sababu iko hivyo vile iko imechanganya siku hizi kwa hivyo ningependa niseme kwa sababu naona hakuna mwingine ambaye ilikuja na yake cha niseme bibi asimame mumuone on behalf of spouses wa governors Mwiringirani mbeke na neno kanka bango wega Tom Margaret Mudoni Huyo ndio mama wa wa Patrick sababu nawaambia mimi ni ni baba yake Your Excellency mwaka wa 2012 Patrick tu ambilikuwa amemaliza university akapata kazi na na Minister of Health alikuwa anaitwa daktari huku kwa sababu alikuwa public health eh, daktari hapa Chuka na akakuwa na interest ya siasa na kasimama kiti ya MCA na wakati huo huo akabarikiwa na mtoto mchanga that time and i want to guarantee you and i want to confirm to these people wakati huo nilikuwa natafuta kiti ya mjumbe wa chuke kama ngombe na Patrick alikuwa mtu yangu sana karibu wakati mtoto alizaliwa Patrick alikuwa na spend karibu time yote ya kampeni kwa nyumba kama anaangalia mtoto I remember kuna time tulikaa hapo nyuma ya ya maduka palikuwa naishi siku mzima tukikula chapati Patrick anaulizwa na bibi yake utaenda ku kampeni saa ngapi anasema hiyo zinaweza ngojea This man loved and love is child na i am a witness hiyo safari ametembea wakati huo alipoteza kiti ya ya MCA na nikamwambia next time mtoto ataleta baraka na kiti tapatikana hatukua tunajua si kiti ya MCA tapatikana ni kiti ya mjumbe na yule mtoto tasha kama vile Patrick umuita I can confess hiyo mtoto upenda wanyama pale nyumbani kwa Patrick amefuga nguruwe na hizo nguruwe kila weekend ukipenda pale watu wa siasa kama sisi ni munduko wa nguruwe tukikula hata saa nyingine tunaendaka Asha pika moja tunapata tamaa tunasema toa ingine lakini kuna nguruwe moja ambayo iko na madoa doa kama mbaya kuona nguruwe ya black and white kama hujai ona nenda kwa Patrick. Hiyo nguruwe alikuwa anasema ni nguruwe ya Tasha. Na Tasha alisema zichinjwe. Kwa sababu bila anaipenda. Na tumekuwa nguruwe zote zikaisha. Hiyo nguruwe ya Tasha bado iko pale. Hata nilikuwa nauliza Patrick atafanya nini nayo sasa kwa sababu Tasha alikuwa amesema isikuliwe. Do we continue keeping it as a pet ama ifike pale tui tusharekee nayo. But I, I guarantee you this angel who is lying here did not only love people but also loved love animals your excellency i want to for the interest of time sita ongea sana but i want to thank you most sincerely because and your team your team of the, because of the honor you've given us uh, mount kenya east vile sister yangu amesema we cannot repeat and, and 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 say how much we we overjoyed as mount kenya east kwa sababu kupata CS tukategemea tutapata PS tukapata ma PS pia na pia najua CS wanakuja kama maneno itaenda vizuri najua bado tuko hapo na pia kuna viti vingine mingi bado unaona mnatupatia hiyo ni upendo ambaye imepita kiazi na tungesema kupenda kusema pipi sisi pia kama serikali ya tarakanidhi na hao ambao tunaserve na hao wajumbe we will remain loyal to the government and serve you mpaka ile pahali mtafika mseme katiba imesema msiendelee kupitia hapo kwa watu wa dharakanithi anchuka ikamba ngombe you know mimi nimehesabu 
nikakosa count ya yale mazishi ambayo Patrick na wale wajumbe wengine huwa nahudhuria mipango mazishi kila wakati na kuona ile mpendo mmetokea kuja kuona I mean kuja kusindikisha mtoto wa wa mjumbe ni kuona kwamba you normally reciprocate and your feelings for your people kwa sababu mjumbe pia governor senator pia ni binadamu they have feelings na mmeona Patrick leo ndaka tika tikeri raga kai to la medori koko te kauma uga Patrick ni ali di romo da tari raga to medori kuna tofauti kubwa sana na i want to thank you most sincerely no ntwa kumuitika no ntwa kutuitika no ntwa shuali you have come out in large numbers and you know the support you've given them and lastly your excellency ile ombi bwana mjumbe amepeana ya ward ya watoto mimi nimeona kenya vile huwa tunatiririka india and we go to india not because indians have got better hospitals than kenya it is because the experts are there the technology is there wanyumba haiwezi kuwa tofauti na yetu kombi yetu ni kama sisi serikali this disease called cancer we must find a way of declaring it a disaster because it's ravaging our people especially the poor ones wale ambao waezi fika hospitali kwa time you can imagine kama sisi ambao tuna afford kwenda hospitali and about tuna the way we do what about a common person in the village ambaye ajui yako na cancer mpaka apatikana ikiwa stage 4 tunakosa ile kitu inaitwa diagnosis yani kuangaliwa mapema kama kuna kansa mtu anakuja kudiscover huko mbele ukiangalia zile hospitali zetu ziko hapa i'm very sure whether my friend uh, is chiwa embu wako na kansa center i'm sure he's not there meru does not have one tarakanidhi aina i am sure about yeri and uh, kirinyaga set one the other day hiyo ni kumaanisha kwamba oh watu ambao tuko area hii hiyo kitu inaitwa kansa ukiona yuko na mtu you see a death sentence that is not the case kwa sababu there are people in this world who no longer think of cancer as a threat because they diagnose early they get early treatment and they usually save a lot of their people so as a government we must think of a way we can take the cancer centers to the people rather than waiting when the diseases of zifimefika mwisho ama tsoto tunaenda kukiu Nairobi na pale ingine and as a government we are committed naomba wakati tuna operationalize hiyo pediatric ward ambaye Patrick ameomba tufanye mimi naomba tulishikiane na shirika kuu your excellency as a county government of Tarakanithi tutatoa mijengo tutatoa any other resource we can be able to bring but as a, go a county government alone we are not able to do a cancer center that has got all the machines required to test cancer lakini tushikiriana na nyinyi mimi naona anga kila wakati nikiangalia kwa tv nikiangalia kwa gazeti uko na wazungu kila wakati pale kwa ofisi and i, I think those are good partners and uh, in their places they have done help us your excellency through the president and through your office to be establish a cancer center in the Rakanithi county we are willing to put in money ourselves kuhakisha kwamba to to subsidize what you have brought or rather you subsidize what you have brought so that we can form a, a cancer center hiyo bwana patrick amepeana we have already built an opd na kuna pediatric ward ambayo tumetenga kando lakini it is empty we will compare notes with you patrick we know whether to do another brick and, and stone to jenge ingine ama the one that is there to work all the equipment required to treat children using because equipments are more important than buildings so that our children can be treated and i don't think anyone will be opposed to propose to a proposal that we make that pediatric ward in honor of the angel who is laying here so that uko mbele tunaita tasha ward that will be our great prayer so that we can remember the great work that we started with those very many remarks your excellency i want to take this opportunity to once again welcome you and as i thank all the clergy who i have not mentioned by name wameshukuria vizuri sana 
and we love the fact that uh, walikuja kwa wingi hata wale si wai kanisa na pia umekuwa rafiki wetu hapa siku nyingine tulikuwa na wewe chogoria siku nyingine umekuwa hapa wao ndio wali campaign kwa hiyo uanze kuliko hata wengine wote na tunaendelea kushirikiana na wewe with those few remarks i would uh, request that we be upstanding and invite his excellency the deputy president to speak to us karibu your excellency Asante, please be seated. The moderator of the 23rd General Assembly of our church, the PCA, and the clergy, the family of Mweshmiwa Patrick Munene Patu, Joe, Keith, and Christian, family, friends, Mweshmiwa Magavana wetu, wabunge, God is good, and all the time, muriega, muriega ligi, geidia isi ya leda mwadha ni ya gosho, mwadha ni ya gosho ligi, aduwa chuka muri okuo, no mui omire ilie, asante ni sana, moderita wetu, Nimetumwa hapa na rais wetu Daktari William Samoe Ruto kuja kulete disara la Rabirambi na kuja kwa niaba yake kuongoza hao viongozi wote kusidikisha huyu mtoto Natasha ambaye ni mtoto wa huyu mheshimiwa wetu Safari ya huyu mtoto Makena rais wetu na mimi tumetembea pamoja na hii familia na tumeielewa kutoka mwanzo mpaka wa leo. Huyu mheshimiwa wetu amekuwa nje idia na sisi tukiwa hapa tukisaidiana wakati ya kampeni. Na mheshimiwa patu rais wetu ameniambia ni kushukuru sana kwa mapenzi ulionesha kwake. Na mimi ya kwamba ulikuwa na huyu mtoto India ukisikia tunakuja tharakanithi unachukua ndege unakuja kutulaki na kupanga na baadaye tena unarudi pale India na kwa hivyo nataka kusema pole kwa familia yako we want to pray to god to give you peace to give you fortitude to give you strength to come to terms with this very sad reality losing a child is a difficult thing and you just lost your father at the same time we know what is going through your family but we cannot ask god a question mungu anatenda yale anataka na hatuulisangie swali so pato and your family the president and i and the rest of our team are with you in prayer we'll stand with you and i want to thank the leaders who have come here to stand with you patu is a very jovial leader anapendana na kila mtu na ndio naona tumefika hapa viongozi wengi na mkurino moja <laughs> kwa sababu huyu pato ni kiongozi wa maana so pato usiulize Mungu maswali i've told you many times when i've talked to you we have followed this, the journey of this girl with you you used to send me videos akiomba akitaka kurudi nyumbani na nimekwambia mara mingi sisi wengine kama sisi tumepitia mambo mangumu ya kifo baada ya kifo na hatujauliza Mungu swali na baadaye baada ya kupitia hiyo yote tumepoteza wazazi tumepoteza mandugu Mungu amekuja kutuinua kutupatia uongozi wa Kenya na kutupatia wazazi wengi na madugu na madada so i want to comfort you 
and your wife and your children. Take heart. You know you have good friends. We are there for you. We'll walk this journey together. Na watu ya hapa chuka consistency ya pato. Mimi nilikuja hapa na nikaomba nyinyi kwa unyenyekevu. Ya kwamba huyu pato ako na matatizo na nikaomba nyinyi kwa heshima. Mupanguze machozi kwa kumchagua bila kumtatiza na mukavanya hivyo nataka niseme asante thank you very much pia ningetaka nichukue nafasi hii kabla nisome risara ya rabirabi kutoka rais wetu William Ruto nichukue nafasi hii kwa niaba ya rais na mimi na timu yetu yote watu wa Tharakanithi hatuna lugha ya kutosha ile mimi naweza tumia hapa ya kurudisha shukurani kwa ile usaidizi mlitupatia kwa maombi mkatuunga mkono mkatupatia kura zaidi ya 94% adu adharaka kuma goroine ya kwa theine amukirai gagoshi ya kwa mlitufanya heshima na tunashukurani na hivi karibuni tutakuja na rais katika ibada ya shukurani tukuja kusema asante na mimi niliambia hawa watu tulikuwa tunashindana na hawa katika historia ya siasa ya Kenya wewe ukipita haraka nithi umekuwa rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya so siku tulitembea kutoka Chogoria tukaingia tukaona ni UDA ni UDA Nikamwambia Rais William Ruto hii game imekwisha utakuwa rais wa Kenya. Na mimi nikiwa hapa kutoka Nyeri pia nitoe shukurani za pale zamani kwa kuunga mzee wetu Hayati Mwai Kebaki vile mlimuunga ya mkono. Nasema asante. Na wewe gavana wetu wa Embu, mimi nilisema mlikuwa mnalia oh tunapigaga kura hapa tukimaliza Murima inafanya nini? Nikaambia nyinyi nikiwa naibu wa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na kiongozi wa hapa Mlima Kenya. Hiyo mlima hakuna siku itarudi tena katikati. Na ndio tumefanya appointments. Hapa tharaka nidhi waziri wa wizara ambayo iko na nguvu zaidi ya usalama na utawala tukapatia kijana wenu mwambia alichunga kura yetu wakajaribu kufanya profesa alikuwa pale tukasema huyu profesa Kindiki hata kama ni mfupi akili yake ni mingi <laughs> na ndio tukasema huyu amechunga kura ya William Ruto ikitaka kuibiwa wacha achunge usalama ya Kenya <laughs> na saa hii tunaongea ako pande ya pwani anangangana na magaidi na wakora pale Nairobi walikuwa wameanza kulete mchezo profesa ametoa makucha wameenda chini ya meza kwa hivyo huyu profesa Kindiki mmepata tumepatia nyinyi principal secretary pale Meru tumepatia medical inturi waziri wa kilimo tumetoka hapo ile kiti ilikuwa ya kenoti tumeipandisha tumepatia mtu kutoka imenti IG anaitwa Japheth Kome ako pale tumerudi hapo tumeenda Tigania tumeweka PS tumetoka hapo tumekuja tena hapo imenti tumeweka PS na Linturi ametoka pale Igembe tumeenda hapo Embu pande ya Bere Justin Muturi atone general hapo pande ya Embu hapo Runyenjes tumeweka PS na mambo bado Eh hey, mambo iko jiani. Eh hey, iko ingine tutatangaza hivi karibuni mnasikia embu tharaka nidhi meru. Si iko namna hiyo? Eh hey, iko ingine mabarozi embu tharaka nidhi meru. Kwani iko nini? Si hizo rekadi nyinyi mmetupatia? Si ndio yetu? Si mtu anapanda bahari alivuna? Unavuna bahari ulipanda? Mlipanda au mkupanda? Mkivuna iko makosa? Tena mvune kabisa. 
Eh, watu ya tharaka nidhi mvune. Hii serikali ni yenu. Na di watu wajue mambo ya kupiga kura. Wewe upange video unapiga kura. Sasa nimeona huyu Muungwana alikuwa hapa analia atia kupigia sisi kura. Iko shida gani? Si atatupigia mwaka ujao? Kama ameona ile maneno ingine ni ngumu usiyakuja kwetu. Na wacha nikuambie ndugu yangu. Sisi hatuna haja ya kufuata mtu yeyote. William Ruto na mimi na sisi sote ni wa Kristo. Watu walikuwa na fikiria vile walitupiga wakatuangaisha tutaangaisha mtu. Hakuna. Sisi tumesamea kila mtu tumerudi kwa kazi. Hatuna haja ya kufuata mtu yeyote. Uchaguzi umeisha, Kenya ni moja, iko na amani, sisi ni kufanyia nyinyi kazi na hatuna haja ya kufuatilia mtu yeyote. Na kwa hivyo kila mtu akae na amani wale walitegeneza mali waendelee kukula. Si ndio? Si wakule mali yao. Hakuna mtu anaulizana na hawa, sisi tuko na kibarua. Kwa hivyo wewe u relax, ukipata huyo jamaa, mwambie a relax, ajiunge na kasi ya kanisa. Kasi ni mingi, kulima, nini, kuchunga ngombe, there's no problem. Ama iko shida. There's no problem. Sisi tumewache, tume tumetoka kwa siasa. Jana umeona mimi nimeongea na hivi viongozi ya mlima nimemwambia huyu kanini kega alikuwa natukana mimi na William Ruto wampigie kura sio wamempigia hiyo ndio Kenya mpya tuko naye sisi mambo iliyopita hatutaki kufuata na saa hii mlima yetu unataka tuunganishe tusiunganishe tuunganishe mlima si ndio tuongee lugha moja na mimi nimwambie nyinyi watu wa mlima you don't know you have no idea ile heshima mumetafutia jamii yetu mumepatia jamii yetu na watoto wetu heshima miaka mbili inakuja kwa sababu hapo mbeleni tulikuwa tumewekelewa fitina ati sisi hatuwezi unga huyu mkono sisi ni watu ya kujipenda sisi ni watu ya kutumia watu vibaya sisi tumeonesha ya kwamba tukipenda wewe tumekupenda hatutai kujua umetoka wapi bora wewe ni mtu ya kazi na mimi kwa niamba ya William Ruto ile kura mlipeana hapa mlima kwa William Ruto mumepotafutia jamii yetu heshima ya kwamba sisi ni wangwana na sisi ni watu ya ukweli na sisi ni wa Kristo na sisi sio watu ya kurudi nyuma tukiambiana na wewe tuko pamoja tuko pamoja kwa hivyo mimi nataka kusema asante na nyinyi watu ya tharaka nidhi mimi nitatafuta urafiki na nyinyi nitakaa karibu nikaenda eda narudi si ndio Sinifanya namna hiyo? Eh wacha wacha nikae na nyinyi kwa sababu nyinyi ni wangwana. Moderator wetu wa PCA hii ni kanisa yetu. Na hii kanisa ya PCA yetu naipenda. Hawa mheshimiwa Kimani Chongwa we are Presbyterians. Na hii kanisa William Ruto amejenga hii kanisa. Mimi nimejenga, tumejenga. Tunataka tutafute uhusiano mzuri, tukae vile tulikuwa tunakaa kabla ile siasa ilikuja mbaya. Kwa sababu kulikuja siasa mbaya ya kujaribu kuteganisha William Ruto na sisi katika kanisa letu la PCA. Sisi tunapenda kanisa hili letu na tungetaka tushirikiane, tufanye maendeleo, tujenge kanisa kwa sababu ni kanisa ambaye tunapenda na tunapendana sana na Wakristo, akina Mama Women's Guild, eh, PCMF, wale wote wa brigade tunakaa pamoja na tunapendana. Kwa hivyo mimi ningetaka sasa nisome risara ya rais wetu ambaye ametoa rabirabi pato na wewe usoro kama uko na ngombe usilete mambo ya barabara hakuna ngombe iko na shoko so bas wewe fikisha ngombe kwa rami tutachukua usilete hiyo mchezo uko naye <laughs> na ni mzuri hata pato kama itanyesha si ni mzuri huyu dede nyoro ndio chairman ya budget kama gari yake inaweza kuwa masini bahati kwetu ndio atuwekee pesa tuweke weke budget kwa hiyo barabara na ningetaka ni tatoe hakikisho serikali yetu ya William Ruto tutajenga hiyo barabara ndio muweze kutembea na ile jia inatakikana na kupitia hapo tena kuna barabara zile zisimama kwa sababu contract hawajalipwa tunatafuta 163 billion tulipe hao ma contractor warudi kwa kazi kwa hivyo tu mngoja tu kidogo maneno simba haya mbele iko sawa. Ilikuwa tulikuta mambo ni mbaya kidogo. Simulisikia nikisema pale store. 
Tulikuta hakuna chochote. Hata panya ametoroka. Silikuwa empty. Nikisema namna hiyo akasema ati mimi naongea baya ati mbele ya wageni. Kama hakuna kitu kwa store, kuwe na wageni, kusikuwe na wageni, iko chochote. Lazima tuseme ukweli. Na sisi maneno ya uongo unajua hatutaki, tunapenda kusema ukweli. Ningetaka kuchukua nafasi hii nitsome Codless message ya president wetu Codless message from His Excellency William Ruto President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander in Chief of the Kenya Defence Forces to the family and friends of the late Natasha Makena Munene I'm heartbroken by the loss of Natasha Makena Munene the beloved daughter of our friend Chuka Igamba Ngombe MP Patrick Munene. She was kind and obedient with a promising future. Natasha was a hardworking girl, friendly and brilliant. It is very painful for a parent to lose a child, and that is why I share this grief with the family. We know most of our friends and family will miss our warm company. Through the full rollout of the universal health coverage, we shall defeat cancer in our country. We pray to God that he grants my friend Pato, the entire family and the people of Chuka, strength at this sad time. May we be comforted by the word of the Lord in the book of John 16, verse 22. So you have sorrow now, but I will see you again. Then you will rejoice, and no one can rob you of that joy. Rest in peace, Natasha. Signed today, State House Nairobi, William Samuel Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. Kwa hivyo, obelezaji, tuketaka kusema santi to the church for your prayers. Wale wote wamekuja kushikilia uyu kijana wetu pato. Tunasema asanti. Pato is our friend. Na tunampenda. Raisi ni rafiki wake wakaribu. Mimi pato ni rafiki wangu wakaribu. Hao viongozi wote wamefika hapa. Akiweko mkurino huyu wetu. Na wale wote wametutuma ni marafiki wa pato. Na pato uendele kupendana na watu. You have provided good leadership na mimi najua watu wa eneo bunge hili watakuunga mkono. Ni mko nyithira mwanake huyu ito. Aniambie nyinyi. President William Ruto na mimi tumeanza mambo ya mentoring young leaders. Among the leaders we are mentoring in this region ni huyu kijana wenu Patrick Monene. Tuko na mwingine pale Igembe South. Anaitwa John Mwerege. Nimemwona hapa? Huyu Mwerege huyo. Huyu ni kijana wetu huyu. Tuko na huyu kiongozi wetu kutoka Kikuyu Kemani Ichongwa. Tuko na huyu kiongozi mwingine mtoto ya Maumau anaitwa Ndidi Nyoro. Si mnamjua huyo? Kwa sababu hii ndio kesho yetu, sivyo? This is our future. And we'll be not responsible leaders if we don't mentor our young leaders and start preparing them for leadership and start planning succession management we don't want to be caught in the situation we were caught in as a region nobody was mentored wale wote walikuwa wanatoa kichwa wanafanya nini hiyo maneno imefika mwisho sisi tunataka tuko na vijana wetu our young leaders na huyu msichana huyu kutoka Moranga anaitwa Bete Esawa Tigieni makofi. We want these young leaders here. Na huyu mwingine kutoka Mkuroini. Anaitua John Kagushia. Eh? Ata Mkurino nuwa hii grupu hii. Ya young ones. Hii Mkurino tumushikiria ama tuwajana na yazame. Tumushikirie? Tushikiria hii Mkurino? Ni mjumbe wa hapa runyeje za ni atari sana. Huyu huyu mzuri. Tuko na mwingine hapa naitua double N. Huyu kutoka embu. Situko na E. Eh, yeah. hata Karinda tunamulea pole pole. Huyu Karinda, si mnajua Karinda? Huyu yeah. aembu huyu sasa barire. Mnataka tuweke fertilizer ama tuweke bolea ile ingine? Tuweke fertilizer. Aende haraka haraka. 
we have our young leaders and I want to give a commitment to the people of this region the people of this region we are mentoring our young leaders and we are preparing them for leadership and for great things ahead because this is our resource is our future and we have a responsibility to prepare them so that never again as a community tutapatikana tumekaa bila mpango so tutapanga hata huyu Sabina Chege muti ya jubilee tutaweka fertilizer ukuje sawa sawa so mnajua huyu Sabina Chege yes. wakuja nyumbani ama waka nje wakuja nyumbani eh yes. hey, hata kanini tumemleta jana tunaweka kidogo kidogo walikuwa wamepotea tutajaribu kurudisha kuwapanga panga mpaka waingie laini mungetaka tuwapange ama tuachane na wazame hiyo ndiyo mnasema yes. hey, we'll mentor and we want to bring this mountain together we want to bring our leaders together as a region. The politics is over. The elections are over. Now it is a time to work and mentor our leaders, irrespective of where they voted. That was democracy. Na tutaki kufuata hiyo maneno ambayo ilipita. So moderator, thank you very much. Kwa hiyo maneno mingi sana. Mwadhani amuradhime.